Survival mode update. Perilous constraint. You know, there was a while... Let me, let me look up the history of updates, because they have some funny names. There was a while where I was like, damn, they keep coming up with cool combinations of these types of words. I think they ran out of words. Uh, cuz th that's a little bit awkward. Perilous constraint. Uh, to do long dark update. His to do. Do do do. How do I even find that? Mm-hmm. Change log. It's probably not gonna list what I want it to list though. Previous versions. Uh yeah, I don't know how to look it up. They had a bunch of, like, Hesitant Prospect was, I think, one of the previous ones, or maybe the last one. Uh, Faithful Cartographer might have even been one. It's an achievement now. Um, Resolute Outfitter, I remember that one. That's kind of cool. Resolute Outfitter. Okay, but then you're, you're, st you're kind of starting to run out of words. Resolute Outfitter. Because you can't, I don't think they've repeated words. Okay, this list doesn't show me what I'm looking for. Anyway, Perilous Constraint is what we're playing. The last... Oh, wait. The last one was actually worse. The last one was the worst one ever because it actually needed punctuation. It was fury, comma, then silence. I think that was what it was, right? Yeah, that one's pretty bad. This one's not great. It's a little bit better. Fury, then silence. Give me a break. Wait, who do you think you are, Faulkner? You're not. Why is my health low? What happened? Uh, I have not been attacked. That seems kind of low. Why is it that low? So, last episode... Last episode. Last uh, stream. Let's see, where did we start? How many days did we spend? I think we started... Yeah, here, okay. So we left this morning. Um, I hadn't played this character in a long time. We were in the Forlorn Muskeg Basin. The new update had come out with Black Rock Region. And we were in the basin, so we made our way through the Muskeg, through Mystery Lake, through the dam. And then we went to the, uh, the hilltop cave in Pleasant Valley, and I killed a bear who just happened to be there. Uh, so I had some food and water there, and we went downhill, and I just started working my way around the edge of the zone, looking for the zone transition. I suspected it was in the long curve, and it was. And the art the art style has changed pretty dramatically in the, uh, like, the terrain and the, the assets they're using and stuff. And it's a little bit awkward, because you get this, like, old... Pleasant Valley is like the third oldest zone in the game. It has a certain look. And then you get to all this zone transition, and it's all these jagged rocks and much more like intense, dramatic stuff. But we went through there. There's a Keeper's Pass south. There's a, a trailer and a location called Mirthless Fork. Mm-hmm. So we made a little base of the fork, killed some wolves, 
uh, did some mapping. We mapped the Mirthless Fork and Keeper's Pass South. Discovered an ice cave, which leads to da -da -da -da, Keeper's Pass North. That's right. Uh, which is Keeper's Pass North is in the Chapter 4. You end up walking through it, I think, when you break away from the, the criminal prisoner guys. And then at the end of Keeper's Pass North, they grab you and like, and then you just teleported basically into Blackrock. So we zone trans transition there. There's like not much actual shelter between that ice cave. And I wasn't paying attention and I got uh, hypothermia. So my health got... Fairly low, down to 32%, and it was nighttime, there was no shelter. Um, I had hypothermia, so my health was draining, or my stamina was draining, which was making my health drain, because my stam my uh, stamina bar was, eyeball, was constantly in the red. It was aurora, an aurora, and there was wolves nearby, which means they're not going to fear my fire. So my one, my one way to be safe trying to get past wolves is not going to work. I have low health. If I miss a bow shot, which is likely, in like it was rough terrain and I didn't really know what was around the next bend, um, I would probably be dead. Probably would have died. So I made a fire. I hid from the wolf and we took like little one hour naps long enough to get a little bit of energy back and then backtracked. All the way to the Forester's Hermitage, which is like a burnt-down hut. But it had a fire, a wood-burning stove, which would not get blown out. So we, we, uh, we uh, rode out the rest of the hypothermia, got a bit of health back, retreated back to Keeper's Pass South, killed some more wolves, got some more food, mapped the rest of the thing. And then, yeah, mapped the rest of the thing, left, went to Pleasant Valley, then went to Timberwolf Mountain. I'm wondering why my health got so low walking here. Oh, I remember why. It's because I was trying to search all the clothing at the plane crash, and I, yeah, I was cold a lot of the time. Right, that's why. I remember now. I was looking through all the clothing at the plane crash. Hey, are you still early? Yeah. You haven't done anything. We're just I'm just doing a recap for my own brain, but also for you. Uh, so now we're in Timberwolf Mountain. Which this character hasn't mapped much. We did map. There, there's the new transition zone. This is the Pleasant Valley Long Curve. Walk goes down through here. Here's the Mirthless Fork. There's a trailer. There's the ice cave there. There's a fishing hut here. Uh, I didn't map all of this, but it is pretty much just a straight shot. Oh, it does have like a cool rope though, which I did not map. There's a, there's an area past this which isn't mapped, I guess. There's a really cool rope which seems to go super far down into this ravine with a river going down through it. So we didn't do that. Where in Timberwolf Mountain do you suspect the connection to the transition? Um, they said it's a cave, so I'm suspecting it's somewhere, probably somewhere on the western part. Maybe a waterfall cave, or somewhere around where that bear lives and sleeps. Uh, up in that direction. Let's empty this out. Close that up a minute. What's in here? Alright, have some cattails. Oh, you're not actually going to be able to hold all those. Okay. Another idea. Oh, okay, here's my cattail pile, apparently. Uh-huh. There we go.
Okay, that was in there. Hacksaw. Uh, okay. Uh, oh yeah, and a bow. A bow. You know what? Let's drop the low percent one. Why not? We're going into... Uh, actually, we're going into two new areas for this character. This character's never been in Ash Canyon. And we're going to go get the technical backpack. Hopefully, I'm, I don't plan to, like, loot through the, the whole area. Uh, but we will hit up the spots as we move through them. We have, we've got some saplings, we've got a mountaineering root. First aid kit, there's quite a bit of food here. Good amount of water. Cured, cured uh, the moose of the hide. Uh, got some firewood. More hides. Rabbit hides, wolf hides, deer hides. Okay, so if I wanted to repair something, we definitely could. Mm, di oh, did I bring hides with me? That's part of why I'm a little bit heavy right now. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I brought a rabbit hide and two deer hides with me. Not knowing, because I haven't played this character in so long, I wasn't sure what I'd find. Which route? Uh, I haven't 100% decided... I'm thinking of going through the low area and either doing the trick to get up to the the like the halfway cabin on the right or to go all the way through to the angler's den. Um I will I haven't I I'm not sure yet. We'll see. I'm just probably just going to decide the moment I get there, depending on the weather. I guess it depends on what the weather's like. I do want to go through the Miner's Folly cabins as well. I do want to look for clothing and stuff. On the off chance, we managed to get second thermal, second wool socks. It's unlikely, but I think it's possible. Possible. Could happen. Okay, this doesn't need it. This doesn't need it. The thing is, I think what we're going to do, we're here. We're going to go into Ash Canyon. We're going to come, we're going to go in the low route through Echo Ravine. Uh, swoop through whatever, go to the gold mine, whatever. Get the technical backpack, come down the ropes, and go down the snowy safe side. And then come out the upper exit into Timberwolf Mountain. And then I'm, I think I'm just going to hug the edge of the zone till we find the cave. So we're probably not coming back to this cabin. The switch back for the low cabin. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that one, especially early on, if it's good for finding uh, combat pants, but I, I have those. He's all full. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, okay. Take a few of those. Look over my stuff. Oh, it's sort of the end of the day, isn't it? We might stay here the night. I would like to get my health up before we venture out again. Even more food. Ruined. Not for my stomach. Yeah, 
A woo. Lots of tea. Lots of mushroom tea. Holy crap, dude. Take it easy on the mushrooms. But we don't need to pick up those. I've got stems. Got Basically, I have everything I want. Mm, that's all looking good. Too many sticks. Oh yeah, we want to leave sticks here. I was picking them up along the way to deposit the next place I got to. Let's take these out of here. Let me just reorganize it. I'll tell you what. We're going to reorganize a little bit. Because this place... Has sort of a... Feels a little messy. Alright, these can go in the bed. How about that? Yep. The bows are really wonky trying to place... Ah, look at that. Perfect. Mm-hmm. That's too many torches. Nobody needs all these torches. 49, that's pretty good. 48. 47. Alright, 3 is more than enough. Marvelous. Do I have an arrowhead ready? No, just the leftover arrow shaft. Uh, nothing needs sharpened. I still have this, which I guess we're going to hang on to for once we get into Black Rock. Eventually. That is not quite full. No lamp oil available. Fine. Oh, I probably shouldn't have picked up that one. Okay, I think the water will go up there. Um, I guess the meat can be in here. But I think I'll move it. place for the water is up on the shelf there. A lot of stuff on this table can go on the shelves. Do -do -do -do. Then we get some firewood. I guess firewood can stay. Tell you what, let's do this. It's going to be faster if I just pick it up. Ooh, full of some meat. Okay. I'm not going to be able to walk. Oh. I think when I was playing this character, I don't know if you could do this, or I just didn't know about it, but I didn't know about this. If you place the water... From the radio like this, you can place them closer. Then if you drop them from your inventory and then try to move them. Unless that's been updated too. I don't know. I just do it like this now. Because this is pretty streamlined. Yeah. 
and they take up less space. Not quite parallel. This one's a little bit tighter than the ones behind it. Uh oh. Uh oh. There. Alright, that's better though. Takes up way less space. That was basically um, taking up the entirety of that amount of floor space, and now it takes up that, which is like. 20% or something. Then we can do this and free up all this floor space. How about that for heights? important, by the way. If you're wondering how this ties into exploring the new area, it's, it's crucial. This is a key ingredient in our exploration. This is, uh, we, we can't skip this step. That would be disastrous. Lovely. And there's more meat outside. Uh, well, there's a lot of uncooked meat, but I don't care about that. Gonna put all the cooked meat under the bench. Good. Very good. Uh, what else? I picked up... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I guess we're not really going to be doing mapping in Ash Canyon. I guess we could if we hit a few overlooks, but I don't need to carry six. Uh, three. Let's just carry three. If I happen to hit one of the cool overlooks, we'll map that, but otherwise I'm not going to map in Ash Canyon. We've got some feathers. I can leave those. There's some hooks here, but I don't think we need that either. A lot of leather. Uh, or we already have some. We need to distribute these hides. Gotta cozy this place up. It was a little bit too, um, 
a little bit too chilly. We're gonna throw some uh, some furs all over the place. And yeah, we might pick up a few of these before we leave. Not sure yet. Haven't decided. There's some wabbit. There's some doggy. And then the guts can be like right here, maybe. Okay, that's better. That's better. That's way better. Not really much uh, food in... Oh, there is lantern right there. Some little lantern fuel. Top her off. They need to add snow caches and entombing stuff within ice to dis dissuade wildlife. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that's probably a pretty big reason for why they don't do a lot of things is because it ripples through the rest of the game and they would have to do, like, significant other changes, which is just not worth it, like, cluttering up the game, the gameplay loop like that. Did I use that whole thing? No, I guess I did. But yeah, because, like, it, it might be cool to have the animals, like, eat your food or whatever. It might be immersive, but then there's all kinds of other repercussions. Like, well, where, where do you actually put your food? Because currently, they have a very simple system of... Do you store it inside or outside? Outside it's colder, some things last longer inside, some things last longer outside. Like, I think the stuff in cans lasts longer inside, because it doesn't make any sense if you think about it too hard. So, but in gameplay terms, it's like the weather is degrading the can or whatever. Oh, it's here. I saw it on the ground. I already dropped it. I, I got distracted reading chat. So then you'd have to be able to bury it? And how are you going to bury it? With a shovel? What shovel? Like, because the ground is permafrost, right? It's just frozen. And you can't just scrape through it. Even with, like, this, that's not going to work either. Doot doot, bunch of sticks. Okay, this place looking better. Way better. I wonder if this is medicine ruined. Nope. Not yet. These all full size? Full size, full size, full size, full size. This one is not. Um, pry bar. I guess we're just gonna hang on to that because I'm not coming back through here. I don't. I don't think I will anyway. The salt smoked meat idea. Yeah, that would be cool. But yeah, they would have to like. They have to update a lot of systems. Like if they do away with the. Or if they update the the food spoiling mechanic. It's more than just one change. It's a lot of changes. Um, one way I think they might... You could update it that would be a little bit less heavy-handed. Is if once it gets to 0%, you see how this is like 2.2 .2 pounds? That's one kilogram. If it would like diminish in size every so many days, like every few days it would it would drop by uh, like a percent of mass it would just diminish basically it would just and then eventually there would just be nothing but then what happens when you go pick it up again does it disappear on its own because the game doesn't really work like that you would just have a bunch of like 0, 0.00 grams 
like giant pieces of meat because they're all the same size. You pick them up and they just go poof. All right, we're gonna stay here tonight. What do I want to do? What do we want to do? Maybe I'll do some repairs while we're here. And I've got extra hides and stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and repair my pants. Oh, it's dark. Oh, no. Oh, that was a mistake. Thank goodness it was clear. I didn't realize it was that late. <laughs> uh, if that had failed, we would have lost the hide and the gut. That would have sucked. Oh, it's an aurora. Never mind. We have light, obviously. I planned it that way. Very intentional. Uh, okay, well, I guess we'll prepare my boots. Because I... I mean, I might kill a few animals here and there on my way through Ash Canyon, but we're not going to be waiting around long enough for things to... cure. So we're not going to have, like, cured hides at our disposal till we get into... Black Rock, I guess. Mold cutting? That sounds like a fun time. Okay, what else? Uh, we can pair these pants. Although that's just cloth, which I will have on me, so that's no big deal. I think I'll carry the rabbit hide for these gloves. Because the rabbit hide is pretty light. And the rest is fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and repair this, whatever. They keep adding zones, I'm never running out of cloth. Especially not for this character. It's not happening. <clears throat> Timber Wolf Mountain is what TWM is. No timber wolves here. Strangely enough. Maybe they were driven to extinction. Alright, I think we're tip-top. Uh, we can pretty much go to sleep for the night. Let me close the door. Eat some wolf meat. They were driven west into Black Rock region, where supposedly there's timber wolves there in survival. Okay, uh, let's have some venison. Oh, that's not a full-size piece. Uh, okay. Maybe that's why some were over on the other side. Maybe those were not full-size pieces over in the other side of the campfire thing. got to start your routine every day with a little meat slapping. Okay, whatever. Good enough. Fine. Uh, well, I'm going to bring that with me. I do want to top off my stomach. Okay, we'll leave that there to show that it's not full. Alright, I think we're ready to depart.
Mm, don't need the toolbox. Get plenty of arrows. Lots of arrows, actually. Like, way more than normal. Lycanthropy? Could be. Oh, maybe I should repair this now. It's getting a bit low. And it's not a full repair. Oh, yeah, we definitely should. I noticed the the temperature it, it was providing was getting low last time I slept in it. Now we're ready. Okay. Spot check. One, two, one, two. Blizzard! Give me a wee a little bit. Switch. What do we got in here? Arrow shafts. There you go. Have another arrow shaft. Well, I guess we're stuck indoors a little bit. Well, we have quite a ways to walk to get to the next spot. Um, this is not a good time to go. It'll destroy the clothing, make us gold. I have to, like... I mean, we could do it if I had to. It's just... It's not the best idea. Alright, uh, let's do, like, a pass hour. See, uh... The weather changes. Maybe it was just a brief flurry. Nope. Weather. Come on, weather. Chimo weather. Just want to curl up in the cured moose hide. Yeah. This is why I didn't leave. Right here. <laughs> Spectator on drugs, thanks for 17 months. I knew what was going to happen. My spider sense was tingling. Okay, uh, well, do I have anything else I can even do? My stuff's pretty well repaired. Mend my socks, I guess. Eleven minutes to repair these? Wow. That leaves me 10 cloth. Uh, no, that's probably fine. We can pick up cloth. I'll leave this here. We can pick up cloth in Ash Canyon. And definitely we'll pick up cloth in uh, Black Rock. Do -do 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 Nothing to do. Nothing to do. Nothing to do. Do 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 do. Pass the time. Do 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 do. Hey, Nass. Oh. Perfect. Uh, it's going to be cold. But we can deal with it because of the sunlight.
Really? Nice start to the day. Alright, I've been cooped up too long. Not turning back now. Is that because I was picking up the meat? I'm not sure. It's cooked and super old. Go chase that deer. Bear's right by his cave. We could totally murder him right now. Tempting. Hmm. Do we murder the bear? Quick, chat, make a decision. Five, four, three, two, one. Are oh, you too slow? Oh, uh, we have to go this way anyway. Yes, no. Okay. Zero. Two to one. We only got four rocks. Where do you go? It's right there. Hey. 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 Nice going, chat. <laughs> Stupid. I should have thrown a. I was gonna throw a rock at him, but then I didn't have that many rocks. Where'd he go? Sun's going down soon. <clears throat> All right, well, let's see. Uh, temperature's warm. I don't know where the bear went. The moment has passed. It was probably a dumb idea anyway. It wasn't my intention. Didn't have enough rocks. I mean, it, it would have been fine. It just... Probably gonna take too long.
Here's some rocks. There we go. That would have been handy a few minutes ago. I only had four, so if I threw the one at him to get his attention... Oh, look, more rocks. He, uh... I might have got him into the cave and then run out of rocks. Not ideal. a little bit more subtle here. You can see like the old terrain style. That's old terrain style, these rocks up here. And the new terrain style, like it's not just more jagged, it's literally different textures. And it's, you can kind of see where the new stuff starts and the old stuff stops. There's like this line here of the different color palette. It, it looks different, it's more detailed, but it's really abrupt in Pleasant Valley. This one's a little bit more subtle. Oh, floating stick. Oh, damn. Floating rocks. New location discovered. The, uh, the train, it just looks a little, a little bit more jagged. I don't know if they have any ideas to doing it like an overall visual pass to like... Maybe that's too much work, not worth the payoff or whatever. Am I gonna try to get to day 500 with this character? I don't plan on trying to do that. It might just happen. I, it's possible. But no, I don't have. I don't have like a plan. I don't have a desire to hit 500 again. Did it once. Good enough. Not a big deal. Just missed my window for starting a fire with the maglens. Don't really need a fire, it's alright. Are you much of an outdoorsman IRL? Nope, not really. I think, um, given the time of day and the dropping temperature and stuff, I think we will go up to that cabin that's, like, up on that little smallish cliff. Container. Nuts. Nuts and stuff. Nice. 
Very nice. Did I hint what the project is? Um, nope, I don't think so. We're gonna play this today and possibly one other time and then we'll jump into the other thing. One piece of coal. Alright, so to get up there, if you go sort of like the, the more obvious route, this is like a... You can deploy a rope from there and then climb up and down. It's like a shortcut unlock a la Dark Souls. And to get to here through the normal progression, you gotta go like way out of your way, all the way around the zone, get up to the top stuff, and then come down a rope, which is like right there. Uh, there it is right there. You gotta climb down that, and then to get to that cabin, find the rope and deploy it. And then you can climb up that, and it's a shortcut up to the upper area. But, um, you can also sort of walk along the cliff's edge to get up there. And to do that, uh, I don't remember exactly where it starts. It's either here or there. I'm just going to go with... I'm going to go back here first. So I don't remember. This looks a little bit less steep than that. Maybe if we went up there, we'd go really high. Let's try that. Ah, no. My wrist. Okay. I don't know if you have to go this far back. Because I've only done this a few times. Because I... Once you do it once, you don't need to do this anymore. Then I don't play that many characters. Yeah, okay, so this, we have to go around there. There we are. Feels like night is coming. Mm-hmm, sure does. We've got the oracle over here, foretelling the future. Okay, so far so good. I think that's fine. The reddish tint. I think that's like a pain indicator. Like, oh, you about to do something you shall regret. Uh, so we only need to be here. We're higher than we need to be. Whoop. Um, I think I'm about to fall down there, which I don't want to do. So I shall walk down instead. There we go. Jolly good. Okay, and now we're up here. We've, uh... Didn't go all the way around. Hooray. Yeah, I, I've only done that a few times because don't need to do it that often. So I I don't have it down to a science exactly. I just sort of eyeball it each time. But it's not too hard once you know the idea.
New location. Cabin. Dog food. That, this gun book seems to always be here. Curtains. Very nice. Combat pants. Not ruined. Yeah, this is a this is like one of the best locations in the game for combat pants. Even on day 300, whatever we're at, they're still not at 0%. Beaches. There's the rope we need. Box of matches. Okay, uh, sun just went down. We will deploy the rope. As soon as I warm up a little. Yeah, I didn't expect to see that, but it would have been nice. I can never remember where the rope goes. I think there's a rope rock right over there. It's not here. Intended route up here. And if you have the crampons, it's actually doable to climb up and down each day if you decide to live here for a little while. It's not great, but it's doable. Or I guess you don't have to climb down. You can shimmy down, but you can climb up. As long as you don't get too tired before you come back. It's not something I would want to do long term, but you can do it for a few days. Okay, we've got some food. Lantern oil. We've got to drop 20 pounds. Uh, a lot of that, I guess, probably sticks. Yeah, okay, about... Almost half that is sticks. We will be at 88. Let me light this real quick. There's a container here I'll use. There it is. Uh, let's leave this too. 88. Do I have a lot of water? We're going to drink that before we go. At least some of it. The extra lantern. I guess we're not going to use the lantern more. So we'll leave the fuel, I suppose. Am I going to need the lantern much? I guess we're going through a cave, huh? But um, I, the, the amount I have is probably fine. We'll probably just find more, I guess. Let's hope. I can always use torches and stuff. Can drop some of these rocks. And we're almost there. I can leave a torch. We 
We will eat some of the food and drink the water, so I think we're actually probably good right now. All right, if we have to drop more, we definitely can. It's that time of night. Uh, okay. I think we will pass the time a little bit before I go to sleep. I'd like to heal up. There's fine. The peaches, um, although very good for your insanity bar, are very poor weight to calorie ratio, so we'll probably eat those as soon as I wake up. Oops, that's not a bed. <laughs> That's a container. Where's the bed? Hello, bed. Chair. That's not a bed. Chair. Chair. Bed. Chair. A little bit dark. Leave cabin. Bed. Found it. Boom. Okay. Here we go, insanity bar improvements. Save some of my water too that way. A little bit left. Okay, a little dessert for later. I suppose we could carry these with us all the way to make noisemakers with, right? Ooh, how much do they weigh? A third of a pound. I just now thought of that. We can make noisemakers. Noisemakers. Do I want to carry cans? All, do I want to lug these cans all the way there? I don't know how many canned goods we're going to find. Alright, maybe we'll lug the cans. I'm underweight. Why not? There's an extra can. Didn't think about that. Noisemakers. Noisemaker go boom. Alright, um, now we're off for real. Let's, let's get out of here. Goodbye. Have we found one yet? No. Uh, I have not checked through the crafting menu or anything. I'm assuming we can make them just fine. They're made from the cans and gunpowder, I think, and maybe a scrap of cloth, something like that. All of which are available. So I'm assuming we can make them. I don't know if we'll find the vest. That remains to be seen. Man, what a lovely day. Didn't you need to find one to craft them? Oh, to like unlock the rest? Uh, I don't know. Don't know. Did I make it? I think so. Slowing down a bit. Maybe not. Alright, let's go back here. Before I fall. Not underweight, good. Have a little snack. Yum yum.
Okay. We made it. Might kill the bear once we get to um, the miner's folly area. Just to have get him out of the way, because he's kind of a pain in the neck. And also to have a source of food there wouldn't hurt. And I could pretty much I could carry several pieces of meat with me past that point, because there's not much in the way of threats. From what I remember. I don't think there's wolves to worry about. Until we're past the gold mine, right? Because we're on those cliff ledges the whole time, yeah. So I think I can just carry a bunch of food with me if I want. Definitely take advantage of the sunlight today. Let's see how many sticks I have. 19. Let's get him some more sticks before we do anything. I might wait till we get to this cave up here, actually. Or if we if I kill something, I guess that would be another good time to do it. Make a fire. Deans. I don't remember any wolves here either. I don't think there's any wolves around where the bear is, so I guess we're wolf. The only thing we have to worry about is the the bear. We're wolf free and only one bear. And once we come down the ropes, there's no wolves there either, so it's it's kind of smooth sailing from this point. Once you know the layout, it's not so bad. If you don't know where you're going, this place is a nightmare. thing between here and the exit is the bear. Uh, potentially a moose as well. But that's not a big deal. I just go around him. If he gets in the way. There's usually some animals here. I don't see anything. Ghost town.
Oh, there went the sunlight. Perfect. Well, there's a cave. I don't need a fire. Just snuggle up in the sleeping bag. Sleep an hour because we got so tired climbing the rope. Take a little nap. Okay, nice weather. This place has a million saplings. Not sure what I'm gonna do with them. Uh, I might leave. Actually, I might leave them up here because there's a workbench here. It's probably a good place to leave them. Although there's not much to hunt up here, so it's not like you would be using a lot of arrows. At some point, I might take them down. It, you know, this is all hypothetical. If I if I was to play this character long term again. Which I probably won't. But uh, long term, you could take them down the hill to the Angler's Den, which is right down there. Which does have animals, and you will use arrows. So, I guess that's possible. So I'll probably leave them here. Just put a note. Put a note in my journal. Woo. 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 There we go, Miner's Folly. Nothing. Uh, I don't know, I, I can't remember, so we gotta check <clears throat> if you can cure stuff on the ground in here.
here you can. All right. I guess you could just sleep in here. It's like a little cave. It seems to be warm all the time. Every time I've been in here, it's warm. Stand up. Mining log page. You're 90% sure you got a skill book in the shack, in the shelf? The shack right here? The shelf? Not a high shelf on the wall. A high shelf on the wall to the right when you enter. Other side of the bed. Oh, that. Oh. I didn't even see that. Wow, look at that. You're right. Damn. Good eye. Advanced guns, guns, guns. I'm pretty sure I didn't see that on the other character. God damn it, that whole run is invalidated. Hmm. Damn it. Could have been... I forget how many books I had. 61? Could have been 62. I don't remember what the number was. Could have been plus one. Damn it. Err. Oh, there's the bear. Um, how do I want to shoot him? Oh, we can use this door. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me let me sip some water real quick. Mm-hmm. 
You're traumatized by this bear. Yeah, rawr. Rawr. I swear this guy sounds like a, one of the pod racer engines in Phantom Menace. I bet if you took his growl and slowed it down, it'd sound just like the uh, one of those things. Now this is pod racing. Damn it! Don't take the second shot, stupid. What an idiot. Around the corner, really? Where did he go? That's... Oh, there he is. Okay. As long as you stay close by, I don't really care. Pull over wherever you like. But the important part, the mag lens, is still standing. over there. Okay. Okay. Uh, I might have forgotten right there that I could shoot while crouching. I might have forgot that. He's on the other side of this little cabin. If he dies right there, that's a good spot. Good windbreak spot to harvest, although we don't really need to use a fire because we can just bounce back and forth. Hey! No, that's too far. No, 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 no. Come back. God just damn it. Try. Oh, I, Okay, in this instance, I should have stood back up. Because now he's going to run all over the damn place, and who knows where he's going to die. Sinok, thank you for the 35 months. Okay, uh, we're not going to wait here. Let's wait here where it's warm. I want to stay outside till he's dead. But there's no reason to freeze to death. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, bear kills. 15. Da 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 
Uh, let's see, anything else we can repair? I have some cloth. We can do cloth repairs. Mm, don't need any cloth repairs. So we need, I might kill that other dead deer that's over here. I don't know if we'll be around for five days, though, for the stupid hide to cure. Mm, I don't think there's any rabbits nearby. Again. Still fifteen. ST played thinking for the twenty eight months. Okay, he walked up here. I haven't been to this cabin anyway, so... Cool. Hmm. Heard a noise. Sound like over there. Other side of these rocks, maybe? to be the case. He walked all over the place. A little bit confused. Losing blood. He went down here. There he goes. He's trying to get back to his house. Guess what, friend? It's not gonna happen. There we go. Since he's right there, I'll probably quarter him and then carry the bags down to the workbench shack with the fire barrel and we can cook him up there. Harvest them without needing a fire as well. Pretty handy. Might kill that deer as well. We're gonna be here five days, that's unlikely. But I don't know. Probably won't take too long to kill the deer as well. In addition. Is this the black no this is Ash Canyon? Um, this character ha doesn't have the technical backpack, so we're doing a quick and quick, uh, when I say quick, I mean quick for the long dark. We're doing a quick jaunt into Ash Canyon to get the backpack, and then we'll go to, uh, new spot. Leather shoes. Let's 
Sewing kit. Oh, old bread roll, right. Mm-hmm. Bleep a bleep. All right. Ah, whetstone. Fantastic. Actually, really good. Seeing as I... Actually, give me this. We're probably going to need it. I was out of whetstones. I was down to my last one. Although, I probably... This character doesn't have a central base. He's got stuff all over the place. So there's probably whetstones somewhere. Like in uh, Quonset Garage, maybe. But I was down to the last one that I actually had. Okay, so we're going to sleep here. I want to break these crates with my toesies real quick. See if I can get to the other one? Probably not. Oh, it was just here. There it is. Kick it. Kick it. Yeah, we, we found the Pleasant Valley transition and explored that pretty much the entire last stream. So now we're looking for... Well, we will be eventually looking around for the uh, Timberwolf Mountain one once we're done in Ash Canyon. Okay, broke those three. There's the bedroom. Is there one in here? I'm just going to light it. Whatever. Nope. Alright. Although, I think I can kick the chair. Yeah, let's kick a chair. That sounds fun. Two hours. Ooh. Exercise. Oh, here's plus one can. Nice. Two in Pleasant Valley. Uh, it's no. Uh, well, it's one then the other. So it's like Pleasant Valley takes you to the southern one, and then that connects to the northern one. Okay, um, they can dam- okay, so he didn't damage my bad roll. I don't think he damaged my bows. He scratched up my clothing, which is to be expected, but not that bad. The rabbit stuff is who cares, and um, this is not so bad now. It's fine. Bear coat is a bit low, but what are you going to do? All right. Time for bed. I am out of water. Okay. Dawn of the next day. No water. Besides teas. Uh, we can probably drink one of these. Yeah. Some mushroom tea in the morning. Delicious. Breakfast of Champions, right? All right, 
Alright, what's the temperature? Really cold. Okay, so I want to quarter that dude. We'll do a pass by and then go down, drop stuff off, then come back. Pass by Carvey Carvey. Takes two hours total. Probably manage like 15, 20 minutes of carving. How's it going? Oh, it's fantastic. Crouch. I got to pet a bear, or did the bear bear petted him? Oh, it was mutual. It was a mutual pet. I got the last pet, though. You want to think about it like that? Okay, uh, for now we can drop these. Let's go look in this cabin for more firewood that I can chop up. I can chop these up, but it's too cold outside. These, these things right here are a really good source of wood when they're crisscrossed like that. But it's too cold, so we'll go inside for a bit. And I guess we're going to eat some cattails. Maybe I'll have a birch bark tea. Get 5% uh, bonus health. Also, that's water, and I don't have any water right now, so... Win-win. That other chair took two hours. Was it not the same wooden chair? Why did that take so long? That one was 45 minutes. Yeah, that... Why did that take so long? I didn't even think about it at the time. Weird.
Pretty sure I saw a deer back here somewhere. There's usually a couple walking around back here. <clears throat> Might try to kill them. But then I would have to wait five days for the hides. That's way too long, right? I could bring the hides with me. Hmm. But if I brought the hides with me. I have to lug them all the way around Timberwolf Mountain to two. I guess it's ah uh, we could maybe maybe it's a maybe. Yeah, that's a maybe. Good call. All right, much warmer now. Okay, we're halfway there. If it doesn't get sunny in, like, the next hour, I'm going to make a fire anyway. Yeah, it's like by the time I warm up, basically. There we go. Yum, yum. Sun? No. All right. Well. Oh. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll take charcoal now. Wait. Do I want? No, I don't want that charcoal. I changed my mind. Ah, can't believe I'm using a match. Ridiculous. I guess it's to be expected when you're pushing into a new area with a character. Did I not pick up the... Oh, I started the fire with it. Cedar. I might saw off a steak so I don't have to so I can stop eating cattails. And then work on the quarter and it got cold again. That's nice.
It's got 36 minutes. Uh, okay, so the noise bang thing. <clears throat> it's made at a uh, ammo bench. Is that what this is? I see the bullets. Maybe you do have to find one. I don't see the recipe here. Maybe you have to discover it. Oh yeah. Oh, that is a spot. Damn. Dang. Shield me, bear peppy. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm going to take a bag, the hide, and the guts. More stunning analysis from our protagonist. Okay, uh, so we're gonna leave food and water. We uh, will also have saplings and guts and a bear hide. Thirty-eight minutes. All right, we'll scoop meat till that's done. Then we'll go grab extra beggies. Got eight minutes till boiled. Uh, okay, we need to drop some weight. Should have already dropped the uh, bigger bow.
There's one, two, three, three. Uh, okay. There's seven. Seven bags and you quartered him. That's a funny definition of quarter. Come on, let's have the comments. You gotta have the, gotta have the stupid uh, quartering comments. I guess I will warm up faster if I put some clothes on. Alright, this is the smaller one. That's got nine more minutes. Alright, we'll go get the rest. Uh, put my clothes here. Oops. Well, for one thing, that's I'm not even dropping them, so that, that doesn't even help. Drop. 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 We are at Miner's Folly in Ash Canyon, so this is an outdoor shed. There's a cabin right over there. The bear that I killed was just over the hill over there. So yeah, we're outside. Uh, where's my clothes? And we were close to this fire barrel, so I decided to quarter it, and we've just been carrying the bags back and forth. Or not back and forth, but from there to here.
Ah. Much nicer. Fifty two minutes till burn. That's finished. Okay. Uh, oh, right. It dropped other things. Let's pick those up. Uh, I think I will leave my higher percent bow back here, though. Because we, I might try to kill at least a one deer before moving forward. It's got four hours. All right, we can start scooping. Looks like a black screen. Yeah, I guess it depends on your monitor. Uh, it's very dark for me as well, but I can sort of tell that there... I can tell the shape of the hill I'm on. I can tell that there's snow falling. I can see a tree as I approach it, but yeah, it's very dark. No electricity. Put those over there. Meat we can put here, I guess. The cooked ones. That's raw. That's the little fella. Okay, little fella. Here. Cooked, cooked. Alright. Yeah, I guess it depends on what quality you're seeing this screen in. Also, I'm streaming at 900p. I'm playing at 1080, so that I have a few more pixels. And uh, Twitch encoding makes it a little darker as well. So there's all kinds of stuff going on there. 19 minutes till boiled. Fire's got four hours. That's got a while. 55 minutes, right? Seven minutes. Quarter and a bear really takes a toll on your knife. Holy crap. You know what, I'm gonna cook the smaller ones so I can eat those, get those out of the way. Y'all. Sizzle, sizzle.
I would like a few days worth of meat cooked before I let the fire go out. That's full size. Here's a small one. A little bit of light now. Which, is that the sun coming up? No, not yet. It's just, I guess, the blizzard makes it brighter. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Five minutes. Sun's about to come up. I might just cook through part of the day. Because uh, there's, there's like no threats left, so we'll just sleep through the next few nights and be fine. Beep, burp, beep, burp, beep, burp, beep. Uh, Dravare, thank you for 73 months. Nice barbecue. This is not a barbecue. This is a grill. What country are you from? Oh, but thanks for the sup. <laughs> what was I doing? Oh, yeah, water. Got dark again. A country where English, yeah, I figured. Or, yeah, that, that is, a, I think in all, you know, pretty much anywhere outside of the southern U.S., they would call it a barbecue, and they'd be wrong. Barbecue is... <laughs> Low temperature, indirect heat. This is, a, this is clearly a grill. Excuse me. Excuse you. Barbecue does not equal grill? No. This is grilling. Direct heat, high temperature. Barbecuing is indirect heat, low temperature. Uh, okay, so 41 minutes. That's 10. Needs a smoker? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you can set up grills to... It depends on the grill, but uh, some grills you can set up to have indirect heat. You basically need to put like a... You need like an additional layer of rack. You can put like a... Like a... Roasting pan with a little bit of water underneath your upper grill. Which also gives you a little bit of humidity. That one's full. So it doesn't have to be the like the 
the heat coming from the side, like the typical uh, oil barrel on its side barbecue thing, like you may have seen pictures of. It doesn't have to be that. 35, 12. Uh, can I? Wait, hang on. Uh, no. One, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Perfect. That's done. 21 minutes. How does the indirect heat? Uh, you don't want to... Well, basically you want it to be like an oven where the heat comes equally from all directions. When you're grilling like this, and you're, the heat comes from the bottom and you need to flip the meat over to grill the other side. You get grill marks, stuff like that. And speaking of like grill marks like that. Uh, there's no grill marks if you're like... Uh, if you're barbecuing ribs or a pork shoulder or whatever. You're typically if you're barbecuing, you're you're using meat that has a lot of connective tissue that needs to get broken down. And to do that, you want to have a low amount of heat over a, lo a long amount of time so you don't like overcook the meat while you break down all the connective tissue. So there you go. Now you know. Barbecue is sauce, okay. You still apply it directly? Uh, I mean, there's usually some e unevenness, but the idea is to make it more like an oven where it comes from all directions and you don't end up with like one side. You still might end up like flipping the meat around or moving the pork shoulder around. Uh, with a with a brisket, you don't because you want the fat cap on top. Ooh, colors. Ah, oh, sunlight. Wow, look at that. What is this light s sensation that I'm I'm sensing here? Oops. You know, looks like I survived another night. Yeah, you did. Congratulations. Sixteen minutes. And it's harvested. There we go. Good. Uh, we got a little bit cooked up. We can try to hunt a deer. Uh, I think I'm going to just stay up through the day. We're going to lose like another 10% of health, but that's alright. 
as long as this takes a break. 40 minutes. Try to work that in, maybe. Although, not while it's this cold, though. That's probably too long. Sharpen my knife. Okay, those are both fine. We found an extra sewing kit. Uh, I should let's draw. I dropped this bow and the cans that we're gonna pick up before we leave. Let's drop some other things. I don't need the pry bar. Don't need these sewing kits that are extra. Leave that torch. Probably drop that. Drop that. Drop some arrows, I guess. Why not? Yeah, get light. Get loosey-goosey. Oh, wait. Hang on. Satchel? Maybe we'll repair that before we leave. We could go try to... It would be a little bit of a hike. We could go try to get some rabbits and come back. And then hunt the deer. Hey, alone freedom. The day is... Uh, I'll check. 3.53. Tree fitty. Three. Tree fitty tree. After that water's done, I might sink up the meat and just double the meat up. Yeah, we might uh, do a little trek. Try to go find some rabbits. feel like hanging out here a little bit. Stockpiling. That's got 50 minutes. That's got 40 minutes. This has got two hours. Uh, yeah, we're going to cook through the day. Pump it up. Record is 505. I also have a 404, a 202, and a 101. Not really. I really, I don't. I guess I did, as you know. But I didn't stop. All right. Where's that? Ba not bear. Where's the deer? Should be at least one deer wandering around. I think I saw one. Probably over here.
All right. Perhaps not. Guess we can pick up some sticks. Do a little circle here. Um, if it's going to be foggy, that means it should be a warmer afternoon. That'll be nice. If I want to backtrack to try to score some rabbits. You can do that after most of the cooking is done. I think there was a deer, but I don't see him now, so whatever. Sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle. What's that there? Is that there the whole time? could do is take like a an hour nap just do little naps to um slow the the bleeding so to speak since i'm just cooking right now Zip, 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 zip. All right, last nap. Then we're going to go uh, rabbit hunting, I guess. We're doing that. I should bring this. Shouldn't... Go go that far a field without it. Uh, how much did that guy left? Thirty minutes. Perfect. You know what I didn't do, which I should have. That's the wrong one. I 
No, 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 no blizzard. No, no. No, no. All right, 66 pounds. That's quite light and spry. Uh, if it's going to blizzard, I'm not going to go because there won't be any rabbits. So what's the point? I don't know if it's about to... I guess we can head out and come back, right? If it... Uh, I do have more to cook. But I've got plenty. We'll have sunshine before that runs out for sure. Yeah. Alright, how long's this got? I do want these to warm up. So I can probably do this, right? Might get blown out right here. Yep. Okay. Okay, so right down here by the frozen stream, you can usually find rabbits and or deer. It's not a full blizzard, so I think they should still be... Uh, they, they won't have despawned. First time I came through here, there wasn't anything, but maybe they're here now. Right here. Okay, rabbits. 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 There's that snow shelter right there we could make use of, I guess. Yo, where's all the rabbits at? They're probably in their burrows because it's a little bit cold outside. But when is it not cold outside?
Maybe they're down there. Alright, there's nothing here. So we're definitely not... Like, if I can't find animals, there's no reason to stick around. Well, I'm just going to leave the bear hide where it is. And we'll carry some food with us. And we'll keep progressing. It's not cold outside when it's warm. But what if it's not warm ever? Where, what if it's never warm? Alright, may as well pick up sticks before we go back. Okay, rabbits, last chance to be murdered. Last chance. Okay, no rabbit murder. So after we sleep this night, we'll pretty much be up to full health. Not that we even need to wait around for that, because there's no other predators between us and the technical backpack. But the sun's going down and I'm tired, so we may as well sleep again. Okay, um, so in this context, warm means uh, I'm on vacation in the summer and I'm at the beach. <laughs> and I'm sweating. That's what it means. There. Okay, back to home sweet home. Let's warm up a little bit. Okay. We're gonna sleep here the night, but then we're heading out. 
Gonna pick up the backpack and uh, head for Black Rock. Nothing under there, nothing under there. We're gonna leave the saplings, the guts, bear hide. check back here. Actually, I can just hang out here for a second. And we won't be cold. Still wonder if you can fall off the bridge. Uh, I haven't tested it. I don't think... Did I fall off a bridge once for fun? Like on a day one character I might have I think the uh, the parts that you're at most risk to fall off are the when there's a gap in the ropes on the left or right you can fall off that side at that point if you walk off the edge I think why do you take all the extra cans because we're going to black rock region there's a new item in the game that you can craft with the new update the noisemaker for from chapter four and it requires Recycled can as an ingredient. So I've been holding on to them. What about collecting charcoal for Black Rock region? We still have to pass through Timberwolf Mountain. Uh, I have five. We'll start collecting it once we get closer, I guess. You've done it. You've walked off the bridge. I know you can... Uh, I'm pretty sure you can on the like where the rope on the side on the railing where the rope is the uh, there's a gap you can walk off there. Otherwise, I'm not exactly sure. Cuz I you know, I don't know. Call me weird. I don't like dying in this game or most games. And I try not to, so I haven't thoroughly uh tested that. Don't need these. Um, did I bring those? No, I left them behind. Yeah, I guess we can hold on to them. They don't uh, weigh much. It's look, looking a little bit the worse for wear there. Everything else kind of okay. I guess we will be passing through the deer clearing. I might just kill the deer there to get their hides and then sort of drag them along with us. That's probably what we'll do, actually. And if I remember correctly, I probably already have deer hides sitting there now that I think about it. Let's check. Deer clearing cave food. Damn. Okay, maybe not. We are going to leave behind capital food, capital water. That just means a lot. Because there's a lot more than like more than like three or four days. More than two or more than like two or three days I would capitalize it. This like I don't know how much. More than two days, obviously. There's a chair there. Could kick that before bed. <clears throat>
352. <clears throat> um, extra nap. Boom. Fully rested. Still no light in here, though. Do 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 do. Okay. Firewood. Oh, uh, right. That. Okay, so we'll take. I've got that much. That's that's a good amount. That is a good amount. Still moving fast. All right, we left the bear hide. Made it through another night. <clears throat> Let me do a quick little warm up here. Oh, I should have done that inside, actually. It did get cold. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, don't sleep here unless you're double bear coating. Or, you know, just be careful. Not safe, so to speak. Not totally safe. Man, my temperature dropped so quick. Damn, negative 13. Is this stuff just appearing in midair? I swear to god, I picked all of it up. Has it been sitting there the whole time? Is it just spawning in? Maybe the, uh, the... The beams or, like, the roof, uh... Planks or whatever. Oh, now you show up! Right! How convenient for you. Unbelievable. Maybe the planks are under pressure, and like when it gets to a certain temperature, they just like explode and fly through the air and land in the snow like that. Maybe that's what's happening late at night. Burning too much coal. I think the planet's gonna do all right with negative seven 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 billion humans. That's uh, it's gonna be okay. I think I'm alright burning some coal if I'm, like, the only human on the planet, or one of the only humans. I think we don't have to worry about that for a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. I am legend. Wolf societies tell stories about me. There's a monster who, it appears... Out of nowhere. He's like a ghost. Wrapped in our skins. You can barely catch a scent of him. Because he smells like one of us. Before you even look in his direction. He's killed you with his thoughts.
Now we tell our cubs about him to keep them safe so they don't wander too far. Mm -mm. There's, um... Where's that cave? Is it back here? How do I get to it? There we go. This is the other way I was thinking of coming up here. This is a transition cave that goes down to the lower area. Which is uh, close to the angler's den. If you go from the angler's den up under the waterfall, there's a cave there that connects to here. Psychic Wolf Blast? Well, it's not really psychic. They just think that because they're stupid. Really, I'm shooting them with an arrow, but they don't know what arrows are. They just know that my fang flies from my face and, hit, like, kills them from a distance, and that freaks them out. Just prime. Hey, Commodore. Thanks for the sub. <clears throat> you could train the QMP to be like a cannon. Oh, like a water bottle cannon. Yeah, that'd be cool. Saplings. A rat. Okay, this rabbit's gonna die. 100%. Oh, two rabbits. Perfection. Here, little rabbit. I have a present for you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. That was a warning shot. Appreciate your last few seconds on Earth. Squake. Okay, good. One down. Give me that. Here, rabbit, 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 rabbit. Coal. Why don't I just chuck my hatchet at them and just like decapitate them with one blow? Could do it that way. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, okay, it's a little bit got foggy. Where are we going here? Here. I guess we don't really need the wood, do we? It's a little bit of dead weight. So we don't really need to make a fire till we're in Timberwolf Mountain. 
Yeah, okay, let's drop that. Because it's slowing me down. I, I picked up two rabbits, which are pretty heavy. There is an overlook coming up, but it's a little bit too cold, unless I can warm up first. It's too cold to map, and it's foggy too, so I don't know if it's... It might be too foggy to map. Rocks. Must fall asleep. Well, this is the stream for you. Non-stop relaxation. Just prime. Diftor, thanks for summing. 91 months. Wait, you, you just subbed like two days ago. That, that doesn't count. Relaxation. Relaxation. Calmness. Calmness. Let's make sure not to get hypothermia this time. That's probably a good idea. Good strategy. My strategy is not to get hypothermia. Don't know how you play, but that's that's my that's my way of playing. It's my play style. Log 4J, that's the security uh bug thing or whatever. Security weakness discovered. Whatever. There's a little spot for a fire there, but I don't want to make a fire. I'm not gonna. We're gonna push on. Keep on trucking. Insanely huge. So these little bits where the rope is mix missing on the side, I'm pretty sure you can fall off there. Uh, otherwise, I haven't tested it, so I don't know if you can just fall off anywhere. I don't plan to test it. I don't need to test it. I'm not going to test it. Get somebody else to test it. I think I saw something over here. I might test it at some point, but not today. Firewood! Do we need that? Not really... Not leaving it there, though. I'll, I'll carry it uh, to the mine, at least. No big deal. Now, we might get a stem here. A new stem. And a possibility for a bear coat. Although... This far into the game, I don't know what condition it'd be in. This is some hostile looking terrain. It is pretty hostile. Yeah. Well spotted. Do 
Do do do do. We gotta go that way. I'm just gonna look over here. Nothing, nothing. Too foggy to look over the edge anyway. There's the lift. There's the overlook I was talking about. But it's too too uh, too cold, too foggy. Let me just check my thermia bar. I don't think there's another... Maybe there's another cave. Like, actual cave. If so, we'll warm up there. kitchen I definitely did I ch well yeah I, I would have checked this spot on my uh, book character yeah we, we definitely walked through here I don't know if I found a book there I don't remember Brr. Ooh, super heavy firewood all right uh, we don't need this dead weight leaving it there Oh. Yep, that's another lovely vista right there. Vista? Don't care. Whatever. Um, too foggy. Can't see it. Hush River Valley? No, it's Ash Canyon. We're headed to the gold mine. It was warm there? Oh, uh, well, rip. There's a cave right here, though. Like an actual cave. And we need that rope. Well, we don't need it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. Technically, we could do without it. What's this? Coal? I guess we could process the rabbits here. Yeah, let's do that. Drop some weight that way. The train here strikes you as being more video gamey. Um, yeah, a little bit. It is like... I mean, the scenario is a little... It's a little bit far-fetched to have those the rope bridges in particular. Uh, I guess we need to bring... I guess I'll bring the guts too, right? Because that's sort of required. Alright, yeah, we'll bring that. No reason to go to Hush River Valley. It doesn't. It's got a lot of resources, but yeah, there's no like. It doesn't have anything that's ex exclusive to it. But it was it was the first zone they made that had zero man-made structures. It's unique, but it doesn't. 
offer anything unique besides that. No items or anything. It's a, it's definitely a bit more flexible than this one. Like the uh, Ash Canyon, it's a little bit less livable. Cause like we've we've walked all this distance and there's like no animals. We're going here specifically just for the backpack. And after you get the backpack, you never really go back to the to the uh, gold mine. You never really come back up here. There's the one bear, which you you may circle around to kill the bear again. But after you kill the bear, there's nothing else. Mm -mm. I don't remember if there's anything over here. There might be, uh, yeah, like saplings. And then back there, okay. That's a bit of a dead end there. It's not that cold. I see. I see way more saplings. I think we'll snag them. Okay, ankles. What do you think? I'm like descending at an almost total vertical here. Are those more rabbits? No, can't be. That's impossible. They're not moving. They're frozen. <sighs> Guess we can get rid of these. They're almost gone anyway. <sighs> ah. <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, I'd like to see you shimmy your way down there and take no injuries. When's that happening? I want you to videotape it, put it on YouTube. Thank you. You're... Are you frozen? Why aren't you moving? Weird. Well, the other one's moved now. Because they're robots. This is actually a division of Westworld. Westworld Season 4. Not as bad as Season 3. Hopefully. I mean, how could it be? How could it be worse? It's, it's gotta be better. It's just... There's a like backpack over there. I want to go warm up first because our health is low. So we'll go dump this stuff in the cave. Then we'll walk over there. Actually, uh, I'm not not even gonna pick up those saplings because um, I'm getting encumbered here. Wouldn't it be easier to slide down? Yeah, if only I had like a Captain America shield somehow, I could slide down on that maybe. Stopped that for season one. Season two is like season one is this perfectly devised puzzle 
of narrative. It's a really genius narrative structure, and at the end, but like, it's not hard to follow. That's the important thing. It's season one, you can follow it, and you don't realize the connections at the end, and then they become apparent, and it's like, whoa, dude. That's what that was? And it, you, you understand, and you can like, connect the dots. Season 2 is like obtuse for no good reason. Get these out of the way. But season 2 does have a few like really amazing episodes. Uh, season 3 is just a disaster. It's like unmitigated, terrible writing, terrible characterization, undoing everything they worked for in previous seasons. Oops. Season 3 is terrible. Just pretend it never existed. That's what I do anyway. Pretend it didn't happen. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Wanna, I'll drop my crackers. Okay, that's all my curie stuff. 94 pounds. Uh, we're gonna harvest those, I guess, so I can drop that. We can put the food on the ground too. There. Alright, let's go search the rest of outside before sun goes down. Guess we're staying here the night. Ooh, there's sunlight. Uh, we could cook that rabbit meat. Invalid. Only got one stick. Uh, okay, let me, let's try to snag some firewood real quick. Come on, dude. Lovely view. Uh, sometimes there's like a backpack around here. I don't see anything though, so whatever. The dude didn't have anything, Mr. Carcass. Maybe I can get back here. I guess if, um, we don't really need a fire. I don't need to cook that stuff. I still have raw meat on me, so. If we don't make a fire, it doesn't matter. I still have enough water. It's fine. I dropped my hatchet. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Well, we'll just leave those there. Whatever. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
What I need is some health. Not true! Health is for noobs. No, yeah, we're gonna get our health back. It's happening. Don't worry about it. It's gonna happen. Okay, there is a fire barrel in there. I've got a few torches. So I think we'll just carry stuff deeper in and use the fire barrel where the backpack is. If my torches last long enough, anyway. They may not. Stick. There's the hatchet. Lighten the load a little bit there. Stick it in the belly. <clears throat> it should be firewood right around that fire barrel, so... Uh, and plus I have coal. I just try not to use the coal if I don't need to. I'm trying to save it a little bit. Alright, there's all my stuff. Isn't there another fire barrel? This is not the only fire barrel. There's some coal. Whoops. Tons of fuel. Oh, that'll come in handy. Marine flare. Warming up, wading barefoot in ice cold water. I just have really good circulation. With the amount of clothing I have on, I probably would be fine. I mean, I'm wearing like layers and layers of animal hides, plus like two wool sweaters, so I think I'll be alright. Can't start a fire indoors. Yeah, who would start a fire in the middle of a cave? That would be ridiculous. It would be cold. It's liquid water, though, so I mean, how cold can it be? You know? Zero? Yeah, fire barrel. Right there. Alright, we'll sleep here. Hey friend, what happened to you? What are you holding? Nothing. Look like a pen. It's a, it's a little string on his sweatshirt. This is the new cave? No, this is uh, a side trip to get the technical backpack. Which is right there to the left.
I hate this UI. There we go. Do 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 do. Cramp. They made these repairable too. I imagine with scrap metal. Yum 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 yum. Okay. There we go. Obligatory um, alligator face. Drop that. Drop. Oh, what did I just drop? A gut. I want to drop the rabbit here, and then all the stuff we take with us. Actually, let's light that torch again because I can't see. Put that stuff here. Lovely. Glad I took my good pack with me on the trip. I just... Nobody cares. Okay, here we go. Boom. Technical backpack. Yeah. Look, immediately. Super fast. So much faster. Extra can. Okay. Uh, I can kick that, I guess. Eight minutes... Five minutes. Yeah, he even left me a plate. What a guy. What a guy. Okay, um, I need to harvest the rest of that rabbit. This meat's almost done. Seven minutes. It's not enough time for the rabbit. stones. Leave some of these behind. Picked up a stupid amount of matches. There we go. Uh, that's got 17 minutes. Perfect. Nope, not perfect. I guess we... Where's all that stuff I dropped? Wasn't it like here? Gallon of water, that's too much. Let's see, anything to repair? Not really. Not until our stuff cures. Oh, I could repair this, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. I was going to do that before we leave Ash Canyon. We're pretty much we're about to leave. So there we go. Put 
put these back on. Twenty-four until boil. The fire is going to go out. Perfect. Pick those up. Gonna sleep in the dark, I guess. Do I need torches? I don't think so. make bandages. I want to wait a little bit longer to go to sleep. Oh yeah, let's look at the crampons. Uh, where are they? Clothing? Two scrap metal. Oh, I guess that makes sense. You need one for each, each little booty. Hour and a half. Expert. It does not... S oh yeah, it does say sewing kit required. Sewing kit. Wouldn't you want like a box of tools for this? Right? I want to make sure I can sleep 10. There we go. In the patch notes. Mm -mm -mm. You've survived some days. Congratulations. I just sleep through an aurora? What was that flashing? Or was that... Oh, it's this. Okay, watch when I pull out... When I start to initiate the thing. Oh, I didn't do it this time. Of course. Of course it didn't. Yeah, a little flash of light. Flash of light. I don't need to break that, do I? No. We got places to be. Drop it on the ground. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, I'm moving so quick. It's crazy. There's a container back here I didn't check. Well, I got a piece of coal and a tinder plug. Cedar wood. I was totally wrong. Oh, we do have to go down ropes. I guess I do have to drop weight. I forgot about that. In order to use the crampons and whatnot. I'm gonna have to drop some stuff. Drop water. That's always the, the easy one. Ok, 
Okay. Mm, yeah, that'll get me most of the way there. These are kind of worthless. And they're not worthless, they're just a little bit dead weight once you get to fire starting five, because you start fire so fast already. So I can drop that. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, I guess we can drop the water. Oh, not quite there. Not quite there. There we go. Can I pick up a little bit of water? I guess we'll just have to make a fire. It's fine. Whatever. Let's go. My bedroll? My bedroll's here. This way, go out by back by cave where your bedroll is. Uh, if you want to go back to that the entrance of the mine, you go back that way. It does loop around. There's a sapling there, but I can't pick it up. Because of the weight allowance issue. That's a ba I do want to check that backpack. Although, what's it going to have that I'll be able to actually take? I don't know. Soda? No. I can't take a soda. Too heavy. Nothing. Uh, I can definitely take that. That's right. Yeah. I'll take that nothing. Can I take the rope? Oh my god. Ah. No, I picked it up. Oh, we were sleeping in a... There was a little bed. I slept in the bed. That was there. That. All of a sudden, encumbered again. Dog food. There's not a way to, like, empty out the dog food and just take the can, which I would like to do. Of a sewing kit. Of course. Of course he's empty. That's a deer. 
Not a moose. <clears throat> Alright, so there is a cave, which is in a little bit of a weird position. It's kind of hard to see if you don't know it's there. Let's see if I can find it. Unless I already passed it. Go down that way, you end up at the angler's den. I don't want to go there. It may have been on that shelf I just passed. It's kind of hard to see. Until you're, like, right on top of it. And it's up on a little ledge thing. I might have just passed it by. Or maybe it's up here. I don't know. There is a ton of birch bark here. This is like the second best birch bark area in the game. Yeah, I think I passed it. I was looking at it while talking. Well, yeah, I s said it's a little bit hidden and hard to see if you don't know exactly where it is. So, there you go. Quite accurate. How's life in Ash Canyon? Going good? We're pretty much done. We're on our way out. downhill and then we're going to be in a cave. So I'm going to start picking up sticks again. On the other side is going to be deer clearing where I probably want to kill some deers and get some food going. We can um, let our stuff cure a little bit. As we look for the cave transition to the next area, to Black Rock. footrest. Nothing.
Okay, we're done with Ash Canyon. Check mark. Oh yeah, I dropped on my water. Just remembered. <laughs> oh yeah. That's right. Now I remember. Um, which one is the side trip? Or is it a loop? I forget. Let's go this way. Nothing, nothing. day. Uh, we do need to make water before going to bed tonight. The deer clearing, weirdly enough, almost always has deer, so I'll probably try to shoot one, make a fire. Ah, I picked correctly, good. Nothing, nothing plus nothing, weighs nothing, fantastic, doesn't slow me down at all. Got some coal though, so I guess it's not. wasn't a total loss. and now I'm actually a little bit disoriented now. Huh? No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the little side trip in the cave to go find the person and their backpack. This is what I'm talking about. I think I backtracked. Yeah. This is because there's no coal there. We've already been here. I got turned around. And then here we went that way. Now I go this way. Yeah, that's where I messed up. Mm-hmm. And then you can see the person through there. Right, okay. Back on track. How's the cramp on? I looked at it. It takes two scrap metal. It's like an hour and a half or something. Um, I assume it requires toolbox.
A deer clearing with no deer. Fantastic. Oh, nope, there they are. They showed up. Looking awfully bright there. Did I leave myself water? Survey says, nope, I did not. Some raw meat though, Some firewood. Okay, uh, well, I can put that down too. No water. Right in his ankles, exactly as planned. Perfect shot. Boing, boing. All right, just one down. Two down. Get sunlight? Maybe. There's a doggy. Stay back, doggy. 
Because, my dear, there was three. A little bit too low health to be dueling it out with doggies. I think I'll leave him be. If he leaves me be. Alright, well, I don't have any water, so we gotta make a fire. My health is low, stuff like that. Yada yada. There's number three. It's way over there, huh? Uh, two's probably enough for one night. It's fine. I got some stuff to do. Work on this guy first. Is there a... I think there I might have just seen a fourth one over there. Or that's a rabbit. No. No, 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 no. Seven minutes. Six minutes. Oh, until melt. Seventeen minutes. Use your knife. Twenty-four minutes. Perfect. Give me this. Must wear your skin on my skin. Thank you. Done skis. Lovely. Uh, put that on the ground for a second. Alright, it's got six minutes. I can eat that. Should have eaten it after putting the meat on the fire. Misplay. Alright, now we've got 40 minutes. Son- Oh, you son of a bitch. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable.
sun is setting. Really? A lot colder soon. What was that? My boot. Okay. Boot print. Get him. Get him. You can do it. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Uh, teamwork. That's called teamwork. Thanks, Wolf. Thanks for doing your part. Teamwork. It makes the dream work. Okay, so think, 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 fly, think, 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 fly, think. Thirty-six minutes. Twenty minutes. Eight minutes. Mm-hmm. That's done. One hour eighteen. Okay. Alright, two deer harvested. There's a third deer and a wolf. Uh, but we'll get to that tomorrow, I think. So now we need to cart this stuff into the cave. Okay, we'll carry the rest, then we'll go to bed, then we can chill out for a couple days, get the health back up, and then we can sort of work our way around the edge of the map as fast or slow as we please. There's a going to be a bear in between us and Waterfall Cave. 
Might murder him, might not. Not sure. We'll see. Alright, that's got five minutes. Nice. That's got like 30 minutes. Okay, let's just do that. Sizzle. Yeah. So this time I just have food. I dropped the cooked meat right about here. I think. Is that cooked? Yeah. And then the uncooked stuff can be right there for now. So we can sort through it. I'd like to retrieve my pot, although I guess it's not necessary. We don't have to. I think the weather is about to about to have a nice, lovely, cozy blizzard. Twenty minutes. There goes my whetstone. Gonna take torches, but the wind blew it out, so whatever. Okay. Now we're definitely stable. Um, if I was going to make a fire in here, it'd be up here, so I'd probably move all the food and water. There's a wolf and a deer to harvest. Sunny, what do you know? All right, um, water. Let's have some water, need some food, and I have been streaming. Live for a little bit over four hours without stopping. We went through Ash Canyon. We got the backpack. 
Hooray. We've got some hides, which when they cure, we can fix our clothing up a bit. Namely, my hat. And now we're in Timberwolf Mountain, and we'll start working our way around, looking for the cave that leads to Black Rock. I'm going to take a stand-up stretch break. I'm going to get a snack. I'll be back in a few minutes.
All right, I'm back. Stretches were stretched. Food was eaten. Food was fooded. Stretches were done. I, I don't know, whatever. I did some stretches. I ate some food. Hooray. Uh, 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 I'm trying to get to the rabbit pelt so we know when it's done. There we have four. Pretty good. A few deer hides. There's a third deer out there and a wolf hide. Let's see if it's still sunny. Ooh, not for long. I think it's already over, though. Yep. Okay. Don't need to pick any of that stuff up. Uh, uh, okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to try to harvest the wolf and the deer. Without losing too much health from getting cold. Can I show my flushy clothes? What's a flushy clothes? Which animals are part of my story? I don't I got a bear coat. That's a dead bear, I guess. Wolf coat. Deer. Rabbit. Rabbit. Deer. Hmm, I'm already half cold thing. Uh, maybe I'll just saw off the meat. We can come back for the hides later, maybe. Oh. Chili. Okay, we're losing health. That's not good. So when I can make a fire in here, it's going to be here. Let's start moving some of this food around. I need to warm up first, though. We... And the water, too, I guess. I used to keep all my stuff in the back of the cave. These days, I'll keep it sort of towards the front. Pile. Sort of, whatever. Close enough. Oh, there's all this too. Alright. Some wolf meat from ages ago. Three maples. Bunch of birch, like half dozen or so. I think we'll just keep dragging these along with us. 
Take them into black rock, I guess. Trying to make a rock cache here. Wouldn't be a bad place for it. Where are we? It's Timberwolf Mountain. We're at the deer clearing. We just came through the connection from Ash Canyon, which is right next door to this cave. There's the uh, transition cave right there. Okay, and then just for now, put these on the ground. sticks. I've got 13 stones. What's the likelihood we can get 37 stones? <clears throat> unlikely. Kind of unlikely. This stuff can just sit there for now. Maybe my clothing beaten up? Well, besides, I mean cloth clothing. Cloth clothing is all fine for now. And we're waiting on the rabbits to, to fix my hat. That's a couple days left. Uh, plus, we gotta wait on the guts, which will be a Day or two extra after that. All right. Okay. Um, I need to start harvesting that animal. Let's see. Where's the transition here? Right there. Oh, that's pretty far. Try to take all the meat off first, so if we end up with the ability to make a fire, we can cook it all. And we're just trying to get the uh, the extra hides and guts as we can. It's getting a little warmer now. Gonna have to do a little bit of back and forth. Probably do about that much. Nice. Good duck in. Actually, let's duck in right there. Oh, I didn't bring my bedroll. I should have. Ah, I should have brought it because we can duck into that cave to warm up. It's faster.
I think this is about as warm as it's gonna get. It's gonna start getting colder, too. We'll just do what we can. The uh, corpses should hey, should be there for a few days anyway, so... Should be fine. Should be able to get everything. Okay, there's one hide. That'll take seven days. Minimum. But it's the one we need the least, so... <clears throat> I'm not in a rush for that, but it wouldn't hurt to have it. Yoinks. Warm up again. Try to get the deer hide, I guess. Yeah, it's getting colder. Damn. Can't see. There it is. Found it. So I got both hides, most of the meat. Might come back tomorrow for the guts. See what we can snag right here. I'll do one more. Yep. Just get the rest. There we go. So it may or may not come back for the guts. I don't know. We'll see. That deer's already disappeared. Like warmth. Time for bed. I'm gonna warm up first before I gotta sleep, just in case. You don't wanna you don't wanna go to bed during a blizzard when you're already cold. Because if the temperature shifts below cold, you won't 
You'll never warm up, you just die. And I'm not exhausted yet anyway, I don't want to sleep 10 hours, so. I think we shall wait a little bit. Just in case. Caves count as indoors. Uh, they're outdoors as far as cabin fever is concerned. They're indoors because there's a warmth gradient. It's warmer in the back. But the temperature will fluctuate based on the outside weather. So it's... Depends on... If it's early game and you don't have very good clothing, you can totally freeze to death at night. If it's late game, you do have very good clothing. It's almost impossible to freeze to death, but one of the scenarios where you can is when you go to bed and your character is cold and it's a blizzard out and it's colder than freezing, like the feels like is colder than freezing. But since I've warmed up now, we can go to sleep. Just doesn't hurt to make, make sure. And I wanted to be a little bit more tired so I can sleep 10 hours. I think we slept quite 10 hours, probably slept like 9 and change. So we've got a ton of food. Now we need firewood. If we can cook up a lot of this, that gives us a lot of freedom. Although, this is sort of... I guess I don't have anything mapped here. We're, we're up in like the northeastern corner of the zone. And to get the black rock, I think we need to be more on the the western side. But it's always good to have a, a stockpile. I've got 30 sticks, two cedars, bunch of coal. Plus more coal. Walk over there, look for some sticks. Probably some over here. Ruined dog food, a classic. True. Very true. And it will also get us an additional can to make a noisemaker with. So, pretty much win-win. Another deer over there. Uh, we're gonna come back to that because I'm already cold. There's probably gonna be a bunch of sticks up in there. It's weird. They call it the deer clearing, and there's just deer everywhere. It's bizarre. Come on, birch bark. Yeah, that's two more birch teas. Good.
Okay, I guess we should leave sticks in here. It's too heavy. Okay. Back out. Yep, hip, 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 hip. Have they fixed the gigantic birch bark bug? Uh, no. When we passed through the birch bark spot in Ash Canyon, there was the gigantic birch bark there. I don't think it's a bug. Uh, I don't, at least I don't think it's t um, entirely a bug. I think their goal was probably to vary the appearance of the bark on the ground. To make it look different sizes and stuff. Instead of always the same tiny little size. The only way to do that was to also modify how big it appears when you pick it up, I think. That's just a guess. It's my tinfoil hat theory. And it's not worth them fixing, I guess. So they're not going to bother. But, yeah. That's, that's my thoughts. That's my guesses. use one as a shelter. Yeah, I could have used it as a sled to slide down that hill. That would have been cool. Oh, rabbit. Hello, rabbit. Oh, did you hear something? What could it be? I don't know. Get. Go on, get. Where'd he go? Oh. He already go went on and got. Went on and got. Yep. Because I told him to go on and get. You're supposed... I was supposed to chase you down there. That's what was going to happen. Now it's... I mean, it wasn't going to work to begin with. Now it's really not going to work. Because he's going to run off in a stupid random direction. Hey, look at... Wow. Exactly the direction I wanted to go in. Weird. And he went right between the trees and didn't bounce off them? Oh my god. What has happened? There's no way that's going to work a second time. Yep, see. Of course not. Hey! Alright, whatever. Don't care. Don't care. Come on. Pick up the stick.
All right. Well, let's see. We've got 19 stones. I found two. Found some sticks. Didn't get sunny all of a sudden. Nope. Got windy and cold. Great. Just what I needed. I can get through another day with the cooked food I have. Wait another day for sunshine. Is that a container? Up on the snow? I think it is. Up on the rock. No, it's a box. Oh yeah. It's a crate from the plane crash because there's a um, cargo container right on the other side. Never mind. There's a few rocks. Really unlikely I'd get to 50, though. <clears throat> Come on, throat. Don't give out yet. Alright, one more chance at the deer. Let's we'll see where he went. Hurt him. Yeah, he ran the wrong way, of course. Alright, let's go hole up in the cave. There's a bunch of these things around that we could potentially break, but it's not really warm enough for that. They're a little bit too scattered. Another 20 sticks. All right. All right. A rabbit. Forgot. Okay, rabbit.
That looks like sunshine. Boom, it is. That's why I always keep a stick on me. So I can light a, f a fire immediately, always. Pretty good. So we can cook up all this meat, make some water, heal up to full for tomorrow, and then we can be on our way. We can make some birch bark teas, and I'll try to glitch a few so we can set off a oh, raw. Wow. I really use them, I drink them all, huh? Wow. Got like almost no teas left. That's weird. Yeah, definitely one more. I think that's a big pile of meat. Get these weird size ones out of here first.
Uh, I guess technically I should have put the odd ones by themselves because they don't have a an exact pair. So now I gotta wait on this thing. Oh, there's also this rabid meat. Forgot. Oh, uh, right. I dumped that in a hurry. Get the fire started, I think, or something. Do I have a rabbit? I do have a rabbit hide on me. Rabbit hides will be done tomorrow. But the guts are going to take an additional day. Your hides a few days out. Three days out, probably. Yeah, the lens only takes uh, a damage from a bear attack. Some people even like drop their valuable stuff before fighting bears as a precaution. Depending on how you're fighting them, I guess, how risky it is. Alright, I'll put the uh, rabbit here. checking to see if that other deer wanders close here by some twist of fate. That's probably, that's really unlikely. 16 sticks. So I got up to 22 stones. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. We may as well just carry them around to the next place. To the waterfall cave. Okay, so this one will go there. I do have all these cans, right? I could oh, make a bunch here. of teas all at once. Shut it, lady. Nobody asked you. Mm -mm. Would I pick up a bow? Will you ever run out of matches? No chance. My The 500 day character has like two or three hundred matches. It's ridiculous. If you really start being stingy with your matches, they're going to last you basically forever. I think, like, near the end there, I was using maybe a match every 75 days or so. If that. I mean, you can really just... You can just go forever. You don't even need matches anymore once you have a mag lens and it's... You can afford to wait a little bit. No decoys in inventory. Uh, 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 we need a little bit more duration on these, I think.
Okay. Uh, I guess I'll make teas now. Got three more there. I'll put this here. Alright, now we're out. That's all the meat. Okay. Twenty minutes. Yep, yep. Wait, do I have things to chop? No, I already did that. Did it already. Stone is just on the ground over there. Oh well. Alright, that's four birch bark. So we'll make a couple mushroom. Maybe just one. A few rose hips. Not a budge back. Not a birch bark. Boom. <clears throat> okay, and then we'll do like one more set of water, then we can go to bed. Oh, actually, it's already dark, huh? How much water do I have now after doing all that? A gallon still? All right, give me that back. Purify that, please. Nearly time for bed. Make me a little bit more. Fix maybe like three of them. Or four. Maybe let's do four so I can take two and leave two. I'm gonna pick this stuff up. I need to wait for them to cool down a little bit so they don't insta burn. Carry all this stuff to the waterfall? Maybe. But probably not in one trip. Because there's a lot of stuff. These are almost done, but the hide the uh, the guts are not done for another two days. So I can't repair my hat just yet. There's a bunch of food here. I might take the non-stinky stuff first and then come back for the stinky stuff after the coast is clear. Uh, oh, don't go out. No, no, you're not allowed to go yet.
If I put this on here, are you going to insta-burn? No. Because it cooled down a little bit. If you put them on as, after they're already hot, they'll insta-burn. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, that's that's good. That'll do. You're trying to figure out how much weight to carry on big hauls. Um That's kind of a it's complicated. It takes experience because you have to have an idea of what's valuable, not just like objectively, but what you need now, what you're planning for. You need to know them like the area, so you are you going to some place that's a home base? Are you exploring and you're like don't even know what's in front of you? Um, in general, it's not a bad idea to make, like, little stockpiles, like, leave stuff in a particular place where you can sleep and not be too cold. You don't need, I don't, you're probably playing, what difficulty are you playing on? You don't need a lot of duplicates of tools, unless you're planning for extremely long-term play. So, like, if you've got a hatchet already, you find another hatchet, you don't need to pick it up. You can, if you want, like, leave stuff out in the open where you can find it again, or make a note or something, but you don't need to carry doubles. Uh, be careful. The one thing that weighs a lot that'll weigh you down and sneak up on you is water or sticks. You're playing on Voyager. Yeah, so just um, pay attention to how much water and sticks you're carrying. And if you're... It depends on how far you're going. So, like, if you're just... Um, like, if you have a little home base, like this little cave is sort of like my home base for the next few days or whatever. I don't need to carry water or food with me. If I'm just going out, I'm looking for sticks, I'm looking for something to hunt, I'm scavenging the nearby area, because I'm always coming back here. So I can leave all my food, I can leave all my water, there's no cars around, so I dropped my pry bar. I picked it back up just now because we're about to leave. But you can like leave stuff locally that you don't need right that second. It just depends on your current situation, how much you can leave behind. Mm, okay, that's all done. Uh, I can drop some more water. There's that. Okay. Uh, you know what? I want I want another can, so we may as well drop this way too. There we go. Yeah, every action has consequences, true. And often it's a delayed consequence, so it it takes some experience. Like, whenever you die, try to figure out why you died, or what you could have done differently. What would that just say? 358, up to 97%. Alright, we're almost there. Almost healed up. I can actually sleep a little bit longer. Why don't we do that? So we got We got some walking to do, and it's cold right now.
Trying to carry what you actually need. Watch out, water stick. Don't go... Yep, there you go. Yeah, pay attention. Like, you'll hit certain thresholds where you will notice you'll dramatically slow down. And you probably always want to have the option to sprint. So, if you if you get more than... If you get too encumbered, you can't even sprint. That's usually bad. That's usually too much. Alright, let's do this. How about this idea? Scribble, scribble, scribble! Alright, we're at the deer clearing. We gotta go over to the waterfall cave, which is over here. Probably map that one too, for funsies. Mm -mm -mm. We don't have too much water. Because I, I guess I made a lot of teas. And I made three campfires for the meat. We gotta walk that way. Mm, it's a little too cold right now. I will wait. There's a bear in between us and the next cave. Most likely. What am I looking for? This. Cured. 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 We'll leave that one there, I guess. Fresh. Um, yeah, we may come back for another trip. I do want to... I want to wait a bit till it's slightly warmer. Would I appreciate or be upset if they fixed all the glitches? <clears throat> oh, like the killing the bear in the cave? I wouldn't be upset by that one. Uh, mapping inside the cave? I don't consider that an exploit or a glitch. That's just the intended way the game works. Like, how often can you, like, be like sitting behind a rock and be able to map what's on the other side of the rock? Is that a glitch or is it just a simplification? Like, you might say, okay, I'm drawing, I'm going to walk out here and look, come back, draw, walk out and look. It's just it's just simplification. It's not necessarily a, a glitch, just because they streamline certain things. But yeah, if they, if they fix the bear behavior, I hope they fix other bear glitchiness with it, so that'd be fantastic. But it's unlikely. Wouldn't hold my breath. Oh, we can also snag more charcoal from those campfires that just burnt out. I have no fuel. Like up, going up, down where it's not intended. What do you mean by that? Like creative mountain goading? Oh, cheesing the cliffs? No, I hope they don't... No, that, that adds an entirely fun layer of, like, exploration, creativity. It gives the player the feeling that they, like, they have some, like, secret knowledge or, like, some advanced knowledge that other players might not have. No, they really should... They should not change that. The mountain goading in this game is great. And if it lets you, like, when you know what you're doing, get to some, you know, a few areas that other people wouldn't be able to, that's fine. It's completely in line with how important map knowledge is with this game, so it makes sense. I would be disappointed if they changed that. That would make the game a little bit less... It would feel a little bit less dynamic.
All right, let's see what temperature it is. It's probably still cold, huh? I was just out there. I didn't really do anything. Just sat in the cave and... Talk to, uh... Chatterinos. I've got the fixed, uh, teas. I shouldn't drink all the way. How would you find the invisible... Death walls? Exactly! Isn't that fun? You would deprive us of that pleasure? Hey, Zert. That's a lot of coal. Okay, let's leave a handful here. Leave like uh, four. Click. And the sticks. Find sticks anywhere. So I'll actually dump these. Okay, that puts me at 104. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to walk there and kind of walk back, more or less. Okay, so let's take some saplings. It's kind of as much as I can carry because I have all the coal. Yeah, that's about the limit. Okay. Zero. Which one is it? None of them? It should really prioritize the ones that are warm for the radial. Now we walk. Until we encounter a bear. Dog just barked. Just killed a rabbit. Close by. Where are you?
broke my arrow on his face, but it's all right. Okay, so um, typically I go up that way to go to Timberwolf Mountain Summit. This back country here, I don't go to too often, but there is a bear that we're likely to pass. He's hit the, the spotty um, sleeps like up here. Oh, yep, there he is. Speak of the devil. Walking away. It's a little bit inconvenient. It's, uh, I either have to kill him or get around him. But it's kind of a it's a rather narrow channel, a little passage here. Might be able to juke him with a well-timed rock. Sleeps right here. That would have worked if I'd been a little more patient to get past him. Yeah, er, er, er. rah rah rah. All right, follow me. Follow me, or don't. Whatever, I don't care. Well, it turns out it did work, just not quite as uh, as safely as I'd hoped. Okay, so this is Waterfall Cave up here. This is one of my candidate candidates for connection point we're now this is like the northwest corner of the zone so it's going to be probably somewhere in the western part of the zone possibly here it'll be obvious if it's a instance because it's never been an instance before Zillion rocks. I probably dropped those. Those are really close. Okay, it's not here. Oh, look at this. Smorgasbord awaiting us. Fantastic. Geared guts. Up 
to 80%. Perfect. Perfect. Takes an hour. Okay, uh, there's a little bit of water. There's some food waiting for us. Fantastic. Guess I'll go ahead and eat some. So what I leave back there, a whole bunch of food, a little bit of water, saplings, hides, guts. Can we drop this? I picked up a bunch of stones. How close are we to making that pile? 14 away, and there's water and ice here, which is a good spot to find. Um, <clears throat> it's a good place to find uh, rocks. So we might be able to do it here. Drop all those. Alright, let's try to finish the rock pile. Since I, we don't have to go right, go back right away because there's food and water here. Go kill this rabbit real quick. Hey, rabbit. Excuse me, Mr. Rabbit. Yeah! Right in your nose. Borrow, thanks for the raid. How's it going? Let's warm up a bit. Uh, we can warm up while I strip the rabbit. There he is. This is this is the wrong type of cave, right? Where is it? Can't see. Oh no, it's the right type. Okay. Uh yeah, why not? Okay, so we need to keep, um, like 15, 12, 12 or so.
Yeah. Rar. Okay, so I left some deer hides, a wolf hide, some guts. If we kill him, we don't need the guts. Possibly don't need the deer hide. I won't need the food or water. Uh, this is, I don't like this little blind side here. He might lose track of me. But if I get too close, he'll insta-attack, which is not good. I guess as long as I can hear him breathing, it's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, here he comes. Okay. It's really dark, this cave. Just make sure he's coming. Pick those up later. I can't tell exactly how far away he is. Oh, there he is. Good. I'm gonna let him... I don't know how far up he's coming, because I don't know which one he heard, so I'm gonna let him turn around. There, you can be friends. There you go. Alright, so I need about 15 stones. We can make a rock pile. <clears throat> Do we need the firewood to cook that fella? Which shouldn't be too hard. There's a lot of trees around. Yeah, I don't think we need to go back to that cave. Unless I somehow need the extra deer hide, but I think we're fine at this point. Just do without it. No need to backtrack. I took everything that's important. I did leave some saplings, I guess, but who cares. Uh, we did clear the bear out, though, so walking back and forth will be a bit more straightforward. we up to um we are uh, we're at the waterfall cave in timberwolf mountain i came here from ash canyon getting the technical backpack and now we're gonna search the western half of timberwolf mountain for the transition cave i just want to look over this cliff real quick uh, uh we gotta be down there then we'll go worry about harvesting the bear
So, it wasn't the waterfall cave. Uh, I think there's like a bear cave on this wall somewhere. So that might be the... Although, I'd, would they make the bear cave the transition cave? Probably not. But we'll just hug the edge after we're done with this little area. Little stuff. Things we're going to do. 27. I dropped like 20... Something I f oh no I kept twelve I dropped yeah I dropped about twenty at the at the cave already you haven't seen this transition I explored the other transition zones I haven't been into Black Rock much outside of story mode I haven't been there in survival mode. All right, let's get some sticks, I guess. Give you that idea. You spawn there. Oh, so you can spawn there in on Interloper. I wasn't sure about that. Usually a wolf over here somewhere that I have not seen yet. Over there. You and me, rabbit, we're going places. Namely, back to my cave to rip your body apart. That's right. I'm gonna lay your skin on the ground and leave it there forever. Ha ha. Kill that deer eventually. I don't know, we'll see. I might, we might, maybe I don't want to. I don't remember how many deer hides were in this cave. Maybe just the one or two, maybe one, maybe zero. Got three at the other cave, but I don't know if I want to go back just for those. What's significant about the update? They added the Black Rock region, which is from Story Mode Chapter 4. They added it to survival with two new transition areas and a, tra a new transition cave. Yeah, 
Hey guys, you want a new friend? Here you go. Here, have enough friend. There you go. You're welcome. Yeah, I think we um, go to sleep now, and I'll just start harvesting when we get when we uh, wake up. <clears throat> doop, 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 doop. Oh, actually, don't drink yet. Eat the food first. Where is it? It's on the ground somewhere. Yep. Waste of water. Oh my gosh. Misplay after misplay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Dude, it's so dark now. Where the hell? I can't... I, what's up? What's down? I don't know. Okay, I see hides on the ground. There's my bedroll. Campfire... I'm just gonna harvest these rabbits until there's some daylight. There we go. Cloudy? Cloudy. I wonder if they fixed the uh, no rock piles inside caves thing or if that was intended. It looks like it's not changed anyway. Can I put it like right here? I saw it turn green right there. Oh yeah, let's uh, map this too. Alright. Waterfall cave. So the uh, deer clearing is over there. We walk from there to there. Waterfall cave empty. Thirty five sticks. Uh, okay, how much? There's enough food for another day. There's one more bottle of water. Just go ahead and pick that up. Start scooping this guy a little bit. Hey, buddy. L let me help you there. You look a little old. A little bit too full. You're a little plump. Let me de-plump you. There you go. There you go. Whoop. Still cloudy. That's definitely cloudy.
questo qua ri. I like that sawing sound I'm generating just with my bare hand. It's pretty good. That looks like it might still be cloudy. We chop this thing. Alright, there's some firewood. Yeah, that's definitely not sunshine. All right, so uh, food. That's. Oh no, there's one more piece of meat. If I save this water until before bed, we have enough food to last until morning. I can make a fire then. So I just concentrate on harvesting right now. Put uh, this stuff here. And now that I have a container, put this in there. Muscles, no skin. That probably looks nice. last cooked food. Oh wait, is there just like a can of sardines in there? Yeah. Alright. I can eat that. Maybe he'll even disappear when I wake up. Harvested. Boom. Okay, so I guess we're pretty much not going to go back. Uh, I don't need the extra saplings. We'll, we're going to find saplings and black rocks, so who cares? So, let's see. That was Deer Clearing Cave. We left... Uh, where's my mouse? There? Or my keyboard mouse. Uh, we left food, water... Some hides, I guess. Some saplings, some guts, a little bit of everything, I guess. Uh, I didn't really... I brought all the coal. I left a little bit of coal and a little bit of firewood. But nothing, nothing really important. Just the... I left um, rabbit hides. Uh, one rabbit hide was curing and a f three deer hides were curing and one wolf hide. Yeah. 
Oh. Um, waterfall cave. Let's update the waterfall cave. That's where we are. I guess we're not done here yet, but it's going to have food and water. It's going to have... Gonna have a little bit of everything and a bear hide. Okay, so we'll go to bed and we'll uh I'll just use a match tomorrow, I think. Do my eyes deceive me? Boom! Maglan! Yeah! Alright, bear, you're supposed to despawn. Get out of here. Your time is over. Bear, get out of here. Shoo. Shoo, bear. He's basically, he's like a blimp. He's hollow on the inside. He's just held together by raw sinew. All the unedible bits. Hey, bear. Go on, get. Go on, get. Come on, bear. Don't be that guy. Come on, get out of here. Okay, so I've got... 35 sticks, two more cedars, a whole bunch of coal. I guess we can, we'll use a little bit here. I don't want to use too much, though. prefer to use anything but that. Make a little circle. I think four is enough. Four is a good number. Okay, these are all the full size ones. Oh, my well fed. Oh my god, I almost lost it. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> almost had a disaster there. It, I mean, it would have been that big of a deal, but still. Disaster or not disaster averted. Um, okay. Do I want to put anything in there? Not yet. Let's 
to pick all these up, update them. We don't want them burning if I ever use this fire again. Those are from before the uh, the cooking change where teas would burn. These are, these are super ancient teas here. Browning, thanks for 76 months. Thank you very much. Alright, they've all got about two hours. Uh, that's going to be done in seven minutes. You need all this random sub perfect slice of meat stuff first. What is its strength compared to just laying stuff in the cave? Um, the, the rock pile? Mainly for things that are annoying to pick up, like sticks, where you, you, you use them a lot, like a lot at a time. But if you put them all on the ground, you gotta pick them up one at a time, or if you drop, like, feathers on the ground, they sort of... Oh, that's actually fairly compact. They just sort of scatter everywhere, and it's just kind of a pain to pick them up one at a time. have them in the open. Yeah, I guess so. I've never done that. I've always put them by caves that I'm living in, that I've got a bunch of hides in, that kind of thing. Alright, is my water done yet? Almost. Okay. 30 minutes, 50, hour and a half. Okay, let's try to find some sticks. Did hear a wolf. I think he's jelly. Another rabbit. 58 minutes. See a stick here. There he is over there. We'll just do this. Uh, what was it, like 30 minutes I had? Do two of these.
Was that the wolf you just saw? Yeah. Down by the uh, frozen stream. Got ten minutes. Mm, kind of a small bear. Probably put on too much firewood there. stone left. He's right there. Try to scare that rabbit into him, or vice versa. Yeah, man. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're going to have like an extra hour of fire here we don't really need. Whoops. But it, it just uh, it doesn't really matter. It's like I wasted like 10 sticks or something stupid like that. I'm going to move this up here by the fire. Uh, that stuff to pick up when we leave. Don't need that right now. Thirty minutes. Why do you reheat the crafted cups of birch? Uh, so when I walk out of here, I can drink them to warm up. 
I don't always need to walk out warm. Like right now, I'm just going to go right back. I don't need the warmth. And I might not even need it tonight. The fire might go out. They may get cold again. It's just a good habit to have teas available that are warm. Hey! That's right! Come here! I want to introduce you to my friend, Mr. Fluffy Bunny. He's been dying to meet you. Literally. Where did he go? Oh, I swear, he would... I, I promise he wanted to meet you. Oh, that bunny, he's, he can be shy. Uh, let me see. where did he go? Rabbit, where are you? Come on, rabbit, not right now. Disappear some other time. Did he really despawn on me? Well, I guess I'll pick up some sticks anyway. I always use more sticks. What the heck, Mr. Rabbit? Mr. Fluffy Bunny? Is that him way up there? Aw, oh, you sneaky rabbit. This way, Mr. Wolf. Come meet my other friend, Mr. Quadruple Campfire. Also dying to meet you. This is not bait. You're not allowed to eat that, by the way. I think he lost my scent. Yeah, okay. I'll go grab in a second. I've got to sort my meat first. Very important. More important than killing a wolf, that's for sure. There you are. There. This way. No, wait. Come back. Watch the rabbit be here now. Okay. Hey, stupid. No, 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 no. This way. Not that way. All right, whatever. Whatever.
Not whatever. Come here. Get over here. here. Oh, I look tasty, don't I? I? Bet you're hungry. Won't you come inside and warm yourself by my fire? Let's not step in the fire. Did you lose it again? Oh, it's going to be annoying because it's going to be super close. Hey! Is that you right there? Is that a, that's a tree stump? Okay. They put these little jagged things to look like wolf ears. It's totally on purpose. Hey! You! Oh my god. Yeah! I, you were already following... Oh my god. And he's not gonna... Mm-hmm. And because you were in the middle of howling, you didn't hear that. Yes, here I am. I want you to die in the cave. In the cave. Inside. That's right. Inside the cave. Yeah, the line of sight is kind of annoying. The little hill thing. Alright, now here we come. Sorry. Dang it. Uh, he's gonna run away from the fire. I'm just. I could kill him farther away. I don't care about getting attacked. I'm just sort of messing around. Alright, uh, let's see here. 30 minutes until boiled. I want to make more water. So we're going to fix these two up with some... Uh, not those. It can't be those. It can't be these. I should probably just go ahead and shoot him. Limbo, thanks for the sub. Think of it a much. Uh, do I want to do one more? Can't be those. You can do like that and that. Okay. Testing my patience one too many times. Where is he? Where'd he go? It's over there. My 
arrow broke on his shaggy hide. See, you're supposed to die here, close to my cave, not way the hell over there. That was not the objective. Oh well. Oh, am I one... Yeah, I used an old man's beard bandage. A few hours ago. I wasn't badly hurt. Uh, well, I shot him before he attacked me, so he was already injured, so he gave up the attack quicker. Also, I have a lot of protective clothing, I have like a bear coat and all that kind of crap. And I have a hatchet, which is the second best defense item in the game. I had all the defensive layers I needed. And my health was full. So, there's pretty much 0% chance of dying right there. My cave was right there. I, I, I was in the... The situation was I was close to my cave as well, which is always important to... Um, you don't want to, like, take a risk trying to shoot a wolf as he attacked. Because he did this, like, weird... He didn't run straight towards me, he like hugged the edge of this thing and was curving around and stuff. So my shot was a little off. You don't want to do that kind of thing if you're not right next to shelter. I had fires going right here. I wouldn't have done that if we were somewhere else. Farther away from my shelter. Oh, they went out. Whoops. Luckily for me, it's still sunny. I guess they all they all got down low. Alright, now I got 24. Good. It's not warm here anymore. Lost all my heat. The fastest way to make a bow and arrow? Like, the actual fastest is you need some serious RNG, but what you need to do, start the game, travel to Bleak Inlet, go to the fishing hut, and hope you have the, like, 25% chance or whatever for a maple sapling that's already cured to be laying there. Take that. You need to... Actually, like, the first thing you need to do on, like, day one is harvest... I don't know if you can get cured guts anywhere. Maybe in Hush River Valley, there's somewhere with cured guts. But you'll need to harvest, a, like, a ravaged deer to get some cured guts. So on day five, end of day five, you can cure. They'll be cured, and you can use them with your sapling to make the bow. And then you can get a birch sapling in a couple different places. One of them is uh, the big house in Mountain Town. And there's another, I think there's another birch sapling somewhere. There's um, arrowheads in the angler's den cabin thing in Ash Canyon. You can get a couple arrowheads there. But you, you still need to, after you get your saplings super fast, 
and you've got your guts down curing on like day zero, you uh, you need to go forge. So you, good place to start is probably Hushed River Valley, so you can get the hammer and forge immediately. Like leave it in, um, get the hammer, walk to Spence Farm, leave it there. Go to Bleak Inlet, get the sapling because you lucked out. Then go forge, then make your bow. Day five. And you still need the uh, the birch sapling, so you gotta you gotta get that too. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. How's my my stuff doing? I could repair my hat again. Wow, it's amazing. But I would rather repair my gloves and stuff. Did I not see a deer around the area? I did. I would like to murder him. What time is it? It's a little late. Uh, okay. Let's just see how much left is how much time is left on the water. Mark away. Thanks for the sub. 40 minutes. Those are all my sticks. Getting super foggy town. Mm-hmm, okay. minutes. These are decaying way faster. They're on the inside, though. That's weird. Probably repair my hat while I wait for this. It's warm enough here now. There, I think that's the only deer hide here. Uh, I'm not going back to the other cave for the other ones, so that'll just have to wait. <laughs> I guess pretty much it's all right. Could use that bear hide. That's going to be another nine days. How many guts? Two. Maple's almost done. These want to move. Monkey terrain. Two minutes still boiled. Ray, we'll do one more.
Okay. Uh, what about that? That's this thing can get sharpened. Uh huh. Okay. I guess we're pretty much good to go at this point. So, when we're done tonight, I guess tomorrow we'll probably just start walking downhill looking for the cave. That's got 35 minutes. Alright, let's pick this back up then. Most of it. I'll leave a little bit behind. Oh, we can break these down. Grab up that. Do one more after this. Sixteen minutes. Right, tender plug. Uh, okay. There you go, trash can. All right, one more, one more. Yeah, let's double it up. Actually, I uh, I just thought, I've got all these cans. I normally don't carry so many cans around. I could have had all, all eight spots making water at once. I still got two hours. All right, whatever. I'm going to bed. Just too good at this fire making stuff. Okay, so we're gonna eat uh, one of these. It's not this cave. We're on the we're in the northwestern corner of the zone. We're up here. Tomorrow we're just gonna walk. Basically, we're just gonna make our way downhill and until we find whatever wherever the cave transition zone is. There we go. Early in the morning, so it's cold. Uh, I let's see. We're nearing seven hours of streamage. Uh, we're gonna take a like a short little stand up and stretch break right here. While it's cold in the morning, before we go do this last little bit, I'll be back in just a little bit.
Okay. So, we're going to go down a hill, transfer our little mobile base to the, uh, the little cave there by the engine section. Grab those. All this crap. Sprain job. Hmm. I don't think any of that's cured. All right. Nor is that. Fine. I guess I just leave it. This is. I can take these. Take uh, three of them, I guess. So that wolf should be dead. We're going to go down past this little waterfall. There's a cave on the left that's instance that transfers you down to the Ek Ravine area. Well, this, this rock is going to be floating it forever because the bear is no longer here for it to rest upon. Barkway. Did I say Barkway? Thanks for the sub. Barkway, thanks for the sub. I don't think there's anything in this thing. It's empty. Take those and probably drink one of those on the way down. Yeah, that's about as heavy as I'd like to be normally. I, I'm also going to take some food. A little bit of food. <clears throat> we'll take, um... I get one stink bar from three. All right, we'll take two. And we're just we're not going that far, actually. I don't need all this tea. That's that's uh, fixed. Here we go. All right, off we go. Adventure awaits. In. Nice. Not sure where that wolf died. There's a rabbit. Thanks for gifting us up. Oh, somebody is howling down there. We are not taking the rope. Is there a rope there? Oh, uh, that kind of changes some things, huh? I can't climb back up, can I? Oh. Huh. Okay. Whoa, maybe I want to go back and get more food. <laughs> I mean, we can always hunt more things and make more fires, but uh, I'd like to have more food than this. Come on, let me up here. Seriously? What the hell is this? There. Let's 
So we are going... There's a cave. It's like right there. I could probably just mountain go most of the way. Alright, let's go get more food. <clears throat> if we get attacked, we get attacked. Whatever. Let me just drop some of this stuff. Until we come back. Oh, I want the bedroll so I can warm up in the cave faster. Gimme. Might even take a little mini nap. One hour power nap. Oh, I should update the notes too, because I took the saplings and stuff. Pokemon Waterfall Cave. No saplings. Uh, I guess there's... There's still guts. There's... I don't know if I would call that hides. Mm -mm -mm. Just a few rabbits. They don't really count. Food and water, guts, bear. That's it. That's what you get. That's it. That's too much water, though. Holy crap. Drop some of that. And then drink one of these. I came here to pick up food. I didn't pick up food. Oh my god. <laughs> there. Alright, let's go. Oh, I was gonna nap. Didn't nap. Oh well. It's fine. So without the rope there, the only way to get back here is to go all the way around the entire zone again in a big circle. So we're not coming back. Maybe I should have even brought the bear hide with me, but it's fine. Actually, I do sort of want it, but it's only one day in, right? Um. Hmm. Oh well. <clears throat> Too late. Too late now. Too late. Too late. Can't go back. No backsies. Alright, what was I drinking? Mushrooms? Yeah, you hear me? You hear that? Or smell me, I mean? Do you smell me? You smell that?
That cave is like right there. Right there. We got the one stink bar. It's enough for a wolf to smell us from a decent distance. But unless he's like right here, we should be fine. I'm just gonna take it right down here. Drop it on the ground. Oh, perfect. Perfect. You. It appears I've been here before. Oh my god, look at all that water. Dude, am I the best or what? I just leave myself all these things everywhere. Didn't even realize. Didn't need to carry all this food down here. Are you crazy? Look at all this stuff. Oh my gosh. It's like Christmas every time. Alright, new home base. Um... Is that stuff finished? It's finished curing, I think. I can just drop it on the ground. Right. Now we can look around. We've got food, more food, tons of water. You know what we can do? It's getting foggy. Gonna do a little picture drawing. Ba Boom, there we go. Wow, what a map. Let's go warm up. There may even be hides in here. Actually, let's turn on the lights. Oh, what do you know? Wolf hide, rabbit hides. Do I need a wolf hide? No, I do not. Do I need rabbit hides? I do not. That sounds like an intense storm right out there. Right outside. Yep. All right. I guess we're not going anywhere right just yet. Bunch of sticks. Right, well, hmm. Back inside, I guess. So we do need a bear hide. Man, maybe I maybe I should have gotten it. Oh well. Oh well, too late. Too late now. We need a deer hide as well. Maybe I'll repair these. Only it's gonna take me eleven minutes. Which is past time now. Blue. Mm. So there's another little waterfall beneath us. There's one above us. This is like a little plateau. It's like, kind of like a stair step situation. So I want to look around this little spot. Before we move farther down. I guess that's light enough. Probably could get lighter. 
So I guess we will we'll walk up here and then just walk around this section, this little hill thing. <clears throat> I want to see on the other side. See what's there. If there's a new cave or something. gonna end on a cliffhanger. Not sure. Maybe. Looks like it. It's got rose hips randomly growing out of the cave wall. That's got to be at 100%. 300, 500, 8 bazillion percent. Cave, that's it. Okay, we found it. This, uh, this, like, particular style of rose hip tree did not exist when they designed this zone. That's, that's a newer asset. Alright, it's here. Let's make a little picture. A little picture. Boom. Two cave system. We're like here, it goes like that, I guess. Found it. Alright, now we gotta move that stuff over there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I guess we don't want to pick up these sticks then if I'm just gonna be lugging them in the opposite direction I'm walking in. I think we can start, at least start that. I don't know if we need two trips to do it, but we can start right away after I warm up. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I didn't want to pick up sticks walking away from the cave. I got like halfway, because we're doing like a loop. We're swinging around. I got halfway around. So now we're like basically walking back towards the cave, so it's okay. It's a... It's a advanced logistical concept, okay? I don't expect you to understand. Okay, warm up first. Okay, um, what's, what was in here? A wolf hide and rabbit hides. And I've already got rabbit hides there. I could use the guts, though.
Okay. Another campfire here. Now we have... Oh my god, that's... That's probably too much now. How much? 43. It's only 10 pounds. Alright, I'm taking it. We'll need it. Click. Clicky, click. Click everything. Click it. Click it good. Do, 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 do. Uh, the sticks, less important. I've already got 18. So, whatevs. We can leave that. I'll just take this. Future me can still take part in this copious bounty. Alright, now we're going. Here we go. No, it's too many. Too many. Yoink. Too many. Yoink. Still too many. Um, Alright, I gotta do multiple trips. It's too much stuff. Or, alternatively, I just drop half of this. We don't need 40, 43. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's better. Okay. Nope, still too much. Mm-hmm. Drop the sticks. Uh, all right, that'll, that'll do. I can sprint. Good enough. Here we go. May or may not come back for some stuff. Who knows? Oh, hello. All right. Come on. Get over with. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Come on. Yeah, that's what you get, idiot. Jerk. I went in there to warm up. Now I'm almost freezing again. Maybe I will do a... Another trip. Yeah, let's do another trip. Okay. Um, there. Faster. So I think what we'll do, we'll go in here, drop drop a ton of stuff on the other side, and probably go back to the cave, the other cave, and then carry the rest that I want to bring the following morning. Just leave stuff here.
yeah, we can come back for that. Actually, we're gonna sleep the night. Yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll keep that. It's gonna break down into feathers. Leave this here. Leave that. We don't need the knife right now. Keep the lantern. Drop the high percent bow. Drop a tiorcha. I'll drop my bear coat. Uh, but before I do that, let's warm up. Before I go back. Here we are. Get the big up. Leave that on the ground. 60. Okay, pretty good. So on the way back, I'll be able to carry a bunch of food and water and stuff. So, and actually I can drop the water I already have. How about that? So then once we get to the other side of this cave, we can take our time. I can do some mapping. Actually drop these as well. How about that? This is when you really want a container. That would be so handy. I think I'll probably uh, scoop out some of that wolf meat too, so there's a little bit more left behind for a hypothetical future potential me. What's the record for most rabbit kills? Like the world record? I don't know. Probably a lot. prison yet um i found i just found the transition cave we are i'm transporting like supplies to the cave so i'm in a very secure position when we get to the other side i'm not sure exactly where we're gonna pop out so good to uh plus i want a map so it's good to not be forced into anything put these on the ground right here Pick these up now. No, let's warm up first. Chimon, 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 Chimon. Come on, green, turn, turn green, jerk. Did I leave that knife? Oh, ridiculous. Gotta chop out the guts. With my hatchet. Whoop. Whoop. Uh, I'm gonna... Let's just go inside go to bed. Just pick all this crap up. Turns out we do need all the charcoal. How much meat's left on you? Not much. Alright, whatever. It's fine. It's good. It's enough.
Mm-hmm. 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 Um. All right. Straight to bed. and shine campers. Oh, I can sleep a little bit longer. Let's do that. Okay. Now, rise and shine campers. So, I have a bunch of water. I'm not encumbered yet, though, so I could take more. I'm going to leave the uh, raw food here. And a little bit of the cooked food. I'll take a little bit more water. There we go. That'll do. We don't need the sticks. I got tons of coal. Yeah, don't need the sticks. All right, here we go. stones do I have? Only three? We'll probably be able to find some on the other side of the cave. I don't really... I probably don't need to be picking them up. With all that stuff I want to carry to the other side. My stockpile. bad. Oh, you know what? Uh, I'm kind of low on fuel. Let me check if that was uh, sunlight. <clears throat> if I can light a torch. <clears throat> if I can start a fire with a mag, uh, mag lens. Yeah, it looks like it. I don't have that many torches, but, or, uh, yeah, I've got, like, one or two torches. And not a lot of sticks to generate new torches. But we can at least get it started. This is why you pick up sticks. Oh, we don't need those sticks. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You did need those sticks. Turns out. But, uh, we'll find stuff inside, so I don't need that many. Well, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There. Fire. Sit there. Thank you. Ooh. As long as I'm able to physically walk forward, um, that's okay if we're moving slow because we're just inside a cave. Now, we're going to leave a bunch of this stuff on the other side of it. At the other, uh, wherever the next entrance is, whatever. 
the one that leads to Black Rock Mountain. Too soon, execute us. 146. Okay, that's pretty slow. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that's kind of slow. Hmm. Could be moving a little bit faster. Three gallons of water. I'm going to drop four of these suckers. Oh, that's much better. something Is that a hole? No. Hmm, perhaps not the <laughs> Maybe it's a one-way cave. You can only exit Black Rock through this cave. Wouldn't that be funny? That would be hilarious. Oh, here we go. Found it! Downhill. I love downhill. Where's my roller skates? Yeah, that's what we need. Why did we get body armor? Why can't I make roller skates? I could even use these cans. I just need an axle, and we've I've already got um, crampons. I just need to an axle to attach the recycled cans to my feet. Boom. Roller skates. That would have been what I added if I was designing the patch, but I, unfortunately I was not. They decided to go with body armor for some reason. It's brain risk. True, but... You're wearing crampons, which reduce sprain risk, so it, it uh, cancels out. I was actually, when I first saw the trailer for Cyberpunk, I was like, my, my initial impression was, I'm not interested at all in, like, the cover shooter gameplay, like, the action gameplay they showed in the first trailer. Oh, you felt it, didn't you? You probably tried to shimmy your way down this, this rock face. That was stupid of you. You probably got hurt, and then you couldn't walk, and then you died. What an idiot. Um, I wasn't interested in that, but the stuff that did look cool, and obviously the game was a big train wreck, but the stuff that did look cool was the body modification stuff, and what I wanted was, it, it was immediately reminiscent of um, Jet Set Radio Future. I wanted a can of spray paint and some cybernetic rollerblades to pop out of my feet so I could 
Jet set radio, jet set radio, jet set. Yeah, I want to do that. Of course, that it never happened. So that sucks. There's a there was a little cave opening right there. I shall go this way. If that ends up being an extra thing, and the entrance to the thing is down here, we'll be dropping stuff anyway, so we can get back to that very easily. Groovy. Understand, 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 understand the concept, the concept. Boom. I think I need to listen to that soundtrack tonight. Oh, is this ice? Whoa. New cave. There's a backpack. We're going to have to come back um, for the backpack and the other stuff. That's, I'm just moving too slow already. I can't be looking through extra stuff. I don't know if that's liquid or not. Oh. Well. It is. All right. Oh, I got to get out of the goop to light the next torch. Nice footprints. Little splashies. day so the Let's exit should be well lit like if I see it down the cave I should, it should I should be able to see it. it shouldn't just be dark frenzy five four thank you for 33 month the Roonies. we're going down huh Liquids. Hmm, that's interesting. Little puddles. That's a first. I don't think this cave was in the um, story mode. I explored Black Rock region pretty thoroughly. I, I found a few caves, but not a transition cave like this, but I guess it would have been disabled or just outright blocked. not found any sticks. I don't want to use... I have a 50% torch. I prefer not to use that one. Just to look around this cave. How farther forward can we get? Probably just past this, where the snow is. Alright, uh, so this is going to be our spot. A little fire can be here. Too, what do you mean it's too windy? We're indoors. Because of that? Wow, that's weird. Too windy. Yeah, sure it is. I do have a lot of water right now, but I have a... 
idle fire, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll start depositing some things here. We might pop out the other side to look for sticks and stuff. Okay, got a few saplings that are already cured. This can be like over here, I guess. Whatever. Got some guts. A few rabbit hides. There you go. Got a bunch of coal. Boom, all of a sudden I can move. Hope we can leave our cans on the ground. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. We got two of those. Stay there. 95. Oh, yeah, and the food. Right. Hmm. I can eat one. Down 82. Okay, perfect. Look at that. Movement. Looks like I'm wearing roller skates, but I'm not. Alright, that's got like 30 minutes. Let's go take a peek. Hopefully it's not a like a trap or something. Some cliff I fall down, can't go back. Black Rock region. All right, immediately firewood and a stick. Excellent. Did I map anything before? No, we, uh, that's right. It was the middle of the night in Aurora. That's right. It's a car. Sticks. Perfection. Okay. I just want enough firewood to go explore the rest of the cave to make uh, to make torches do that. But first, we shall draw a pretty picture. There's some doggies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come get some. I'm already gone. She got oosh. Well, yeah, that, them's them's be timber wolves. Yeah, I should probably put my boots back on.
81. That's good enough. Still have plenty of energy for the day. That's almost done. Oh, um, where is this exactly? Sort of looks like... Bottom right, there's a trailer, huh? Okay, I kind of think I know where we are. Not 100%. I think we might be relatively close to that workbench area with the, the farm. So, first thing we gotta do is have a battle. So, an outdoor fire will be good. There's a lot of torches, but. Um, we're just gonna feed them back into a fire once we get done. Probably explore the cave and then. Plus, it generate. I, I guess we're diminishing the amount of charcoal in there because I pulled so much duration out of there. We're uh, creating more charcoal. Sort of. Okay, here's a backpack. Nothing! I mean, we are on day close to 400, so it's to be expected not to find too much. In, uh, especially in containers like that. No big deal. Just... Okay, that's a little confusing. It's campfire. No charcoal firewood though. I wonder if that links back to the big chamber and the door that I didn't go through. Oh yeah, it does. This is we're, we're here. Okay. All right. So I did uh, pretty. I did most of it the first way through. Okay, so I'll go back through here, and then I'll just scoop up anything I didn't pick up the first time. Then we can get into a fight with those wolves. It wasn't immediately clear how quickly they could get up to where I was. I'm not exactly sure where to place 
the initial campfire. Any games coming out next year you're excited about and want to play? Uh... No. <laughs> All the games I'm excited to play have been out for 10 years or more. Uh, you know, or maybe not 10 years, but more than several. Dwarf Fortress. Uh, I got news for you, pal. Dwarf Fortress has been out more than a decade. It's just getting a shiny... Fresh coat of paint, that's it. I guess it's fairly substantial what they're doing, but I don't consider that a new game by any stretch of the imagination. Alright, well, I guess we um, finished that up pretty quick. Amazing how much ground you can cover when you're not carrying, like, the supplies to supply an entire village. I guess I'll relight this. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I left the gallon of water up at the top. Oh, that's that's pretty minor. That's no big deal. Just remembered. But that's like the least valuable thing in the game. Oh yeah, Elden Ring. I'm ex I'm I'm not super actually I'm not super excited for Elden Ring, but I will potentially be excited when I actually get to play it. I'm not excited right now. I don't really care right now. What type of game would you like to see a new fresh version of? I don't know. Skyrim, oh my god. So frustrating. It's gonna be like... Probably closer to 20 years. Somewhere between 15 to 20 years between Skyrim and the next Elder Scrolls. It's... Is Elden Ring coming out in 2022? I think February. Is the it's the date right now anyway? I think. Okay, I want this to keep going, so let's put let's put one of these on there. Am I looking down on the Elder Scrolls Online? Uh, the Elder Scrolls Online is done by a different studio. <clears throat> it is like a sister studio to the main Bethesda game studio. And after Skyrim, they made Fallout 4. Then they immediately started work on Fallout 76. And then they started work on... 
Starfield. And as far as I'm aware, I have yet to really start anything substantial. But who knows what they're actually doing behind closed doors. How much of their, like, it's in pre-production, quote-unquote. It's hard to say what that actually means. What I want out of Bethesda, not Bethesda, um, FromSoft, I don't... I could take or leave another Souls game, like Elden Ring. What I would really like is for them to do a newer version, like reboot, actual reboot. I would like a reboot, a modern version with like all of their current uh, knowledge and power. I would like an Armored Core game, please, por favor. New Armored Core, that's what I want. Alright, we need to get light. We need to be flippy. Need to be like a an erupting volcano of arrows. That's dang it, I wanted the flare. Uh where can I put this bow that I won't just forget it exists? Maybe like up here? Oh, maybe up here. Perfect. Found a candy bar. Wow. Amazing. Um, I'm going to put this in a fire outside, so I'm going to hold on to that an extra pound. Where's all the weight coming from? Random this and that. Pry bar. Don't normally carry a pry bar. Got four torches. Don't normally carry four torches. Don't normally carry... Well, I guess 16 arrows. I usually top out at around 15 arrows. Why well, don't I only have 16 arrows? I guess a couple broke recently? Oh yeah, I have three arrowheads, yeah. Okay, I guess that makes sense. When that boils, we're going outside. Forty, there, I found it. Forty-two charcoal, that's what it is. That's what it is. There we go. Okay. 31 stones. Oh, that's it too. Yep. Alright. There we... Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. down below. I'm not sure how easily they're able to get up here. If they only saw me because I walked out onto that that rock. Maybe right up here against this is a good spot for a fire. They're right down there. Yeah, there's that trailer. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I know where this is. Um, it's gonna get knocked out. Maybe I can put it back here. Invalid. Okay, that's not a good spot, because it's... There we go, right? Yeah, like right here. Um, I could put it up in the corner, but then that's not a good spot to shoot the wolves from. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's rocks right here. All right. So I'm guessing they can't just run up the hill where I am right now. They're on that road right there. How do they res how do Timberwolves respond to rocks? Same way? I guess so. Okay, two arrows in the ground. Boom. You don't know who's boss. That's right. That's right. Two arrows right there. Are they still here? How far did they go? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Splash one mig. Ba -ba boom. Ba -ba -ba boom. Hmm. The morale bar wasn't up. I wonder how that affects the morale bar thing. All right, three arrows down there, one dead doggy. If I hop down there, there's an additional one. Okay, let's see what they do. What you can do? What you can do? What you can do? Nothing? There's two of these, and then they can get to me, I think. Yeah, what are you going to do? Nothing? Three arrows, one arrow. Their morale bar is smaller, because I killed one. Three arrows, one arrow. Four arrows, one arrow. What you doing? Five arrows, one arrow. It's hard to get a clean shot with them never stopping. Five arrows, one arrow. I had, what, 16 total? I've got 10 now. Six arrows, one arrow. I think I like one more shot, I think. Six arrows, one arrow. Got nine. Yeah, that seems right. Oh, dang. That was close. Alright, I had 16 total. There's one there. The rest down here. Alright, 
I don't want to... I want to reserve some arrows to be able to shoot with later. Did this get blown out? Looks like it. Alright, whatever. Come back tomorrow. I don't want to fight in the blizzard. This is why I have all these supplies. I have options. I had 16 arrows. Now I got six. So there's one and nine. Okay. Um. Not quite tired yet. Do we need the? F I can just keep making water, I guess, for a bit. Oh, neither of those are full size, huh? I will try to fix two T's before that goes out, so they stay warm. Yeah, that's a tiny one, huh? Maybe I'll make some? How much water? Okay. So there is a trailer pretty close by. We have shelter available. Once I deal with them, so I, I'm fine dropping down. We can always climb back up the double rock step things. But we can pretty easily transition to living down there. No big deal. Now that I know the lay of the land a little bit. So I guess what we need is... fire down where they are where I can be a bit closer try to find a spot with a little bit better terrain where um, they're not like running in and out of line of sight Okay, so yeah, we're gonna move down. Picking that up. Um, you know what? We just have to climb up the two rock thingies. I'll pick up this like little stuff. But like um, all the cans, all the stones and charcoal. I'm not gonna bring that just yet. Or the bow. That's a bunch of cloth. We can leave that here, too. And there's... one dead dog there. That's at least a little bit of food. Don't need the rabbit stuff. There's two birch barks. Mm -mm -mm. I've got six stones. Get a couple more. There's like a road here, which might be the one that goes up like the eastern side of the... I think it's the one that goes up the eastern side of the zone, and like that pond with the moose is up here. The prison is over here, across the ravine bridge thing. There's a little farm thing here, there's a little outbuilding with a crafting bench. Hi. 
All right, that's got 30 minutes, and we are indoors, so we're not getting any bonus duration here. It's got 30 minutes. I want to drop... these two on there right before it goes out. Yeah, one more battle. We'll finish them off. Retrieve my arrows. Establish a beachhead. Do some mapping. 20 minutes. Thirteen minutes. That should be fine. Mm-hmm. Guess I'm not tired yet. Hot, hot. Okay, good. Still daylight? Not for long. Do I need bandages? Don't think so. Okay, we're good to go. Um, oh, there's like a new lighting glitch. I noticed this before in the other cave. This is like pitch black. This looks like a shadow. Even though there's direct light right there. More bugs. Who doesn't like bugs? Everybody loves bugs. Bugs are great. Oh, there, there was an aurora even. Wow. Wowzers. Okay. Bedtime. Alright, we got three pieces of meat left. Energy is full. It's early in the day, though. Uh, those are ready to go. I want to... Let's take, like, ten pieces of that, because I don't have anything else, really. I want to go scout. I want to see... Um, I want to look around and see where I might want to descend the mountainside. Before we get into the actual final battle. Oh, well, I can't see anything. Alright, I'll come back. I walk up here, what do we see? Dog gates. Their morale broken. There's a car there. Hmm. This is another route down. Oh. Don't get stuck, please. Uh oh, please don't be stuck. Oh no. Come on.
Car's not a great place against. It's good against a normal wolf, but not against timber wolves. All right, I don't. I don't like that one. You are not allowed to be stuck down here. You're you you are forced to walk back up this hill. Is this really? Come on. <laughs> don't be like this game. Let's me back up. Thank you. Okay, what did I just sprain? My foot. <sighs> so, don't want to walk down this way. There's the dead dog. They can't get to me. So we either drop, it, it really depends on where that looks like the most protected spot for a fire is. Uh, down there looks alright. Like right around there, maybe. Or we could drop down where these rocks are. I really just need to kill like one and a half. Maybe we go down where the rocks are. I guess it depends on which way the wind's blowing, too. I could put a fire right here. It's okay. It's not amazing. Here they come. gonna do that. Splash two MIGs. Two more arrows down. I got four left. How many arrows you need? Not that many. Oh, you got up there. Wow, look at you. Coming back. Give me a good shot here. All right, their morale is broken. One of them ran off with an arrow. That's okay, I've got like so many arrows down there now. Add 16, I got three, one's in a dog, so there's 12 in the ground. It's always best if you can get to a spot where that like they can't actually sh get to you to attack you. It was best to try to get as close as possible. Probably should have. As soon as I saw the double stair step there, I should have just gone down there. Probably have more of my arrows right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and sleep. Why not? Get some energy. Okay. Um now we're gonna go. Their morale's broken. And if it respawns then I'll just kill him again, I guess. There's only there should only be like two left. I only have a few coal here. Thirty-four. Mm, I guess we can come let's come back for that stuff, that stuff, 
and that stuff. Leave the bit of food. Might want more cloth because I'm a little low. 99.9. Okay, all that stuff will come back for. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, here we go. Into Blackrock for realsies. Oh, and it's a sunny day. Beautiful. Oh, okay. The one I shot just died. That was the sound of him dying. So I think I'm going to drop down... Oh, we'll go around. We'll go around. I'm not sure exactly. Looked a little... Not exactly safe there. I think there's one left, but he should be passive for a while. We can harvest this guy. Not right now. A little bit later. I want to recover arrows and get my stuff to the trailer. What army was conducting volley fire? Where did all these... Look at all these arrows. Arrow. Arrow. You got an arrow? You got an arrow for me, friend. I've got ten. There should be more. Go check the car. Still have a little bit of the pain vision. Okay, nothing there. This guy will have one. Okay, now we're at 11. And I didn't touch either of the dogs, uh, so they might also have one each. The, the two that are over here. Not that one. Not the one I just grabbed it from. Here we go. Oh, found him. All right. I'm at 16. I had 16. We have all of them. Perfect. Okay, the trailer is... I can see it. It's right there. right dog run run for your life unexpected giraffe thanks for the sub there's the comical triangular mountain the 
Is that a fire barrel? Is any of these a fire barrel? Foreman's clear cut. Not a fire barrel. Okay. Um, back here is not too bad for a fire. First time watching... Oh, sorry, I missed your message. I was a little bit... I was dialed in. Is this interloper? Yes. Uh, what day? 363. Even a bed. How convenient. Pages. Which means an extra can. Practical gunsmithing. I love making gunsmithings. Mmm, pork and beans. There's a container here. No, we should use a locker. Except, oh, they're not real lockers. Yeah, we, we probably won't make much of a base out of this place. I don't want to put the coal in there because I'm afraid of forgetting about it. So I'll, just, I'll put it here in the bright spot. Mm-hmm. This stuff can go up on the counter, maybe? Pretty good. Maybe we'll try to retrieve the stuff from up the up in the cave now that we're safe down here. This isn't the mapping character? No. Nope. I don't need both of these right now. I do want to have them. Just don't want to carry them around all the time. So I want to bring the stuff down from the cave. The charcoal. The food. Maybe not all the food. Um, but I'll, some of that stuff. The cloth for sure. There's not really any cloth in here, is there? The extra bow. Want that. Let me let me put the feathers in here. Hopefully I don't forget them.
Wasn't this one retired? Yeah, before Bleak Inlet. Although, I think I've been to Bleak Inlet now with this character, because I recorded footage with this character for the tutorial. I think I went to Bleak Inlet. Yeah, 11 days. I went there to film some shots of places to shoot Timberwolves from. Bunch of days in Mountain Town. One day in Black Rock. Zero days Hush River Valley. Yeah, the Hush River Valley came out close to the end of when I was playing this character and I never went there, I guess. Okay, uh, relatively light, relatively spry. So I want to harvest meat from the dead doggos. And... Bring stuff back. It's cold. And we can map from this spot at any point, more or less. And I don't know this area super well, so I'm like, I'm already, I'm like, wait, which direction did I come from? There's a deer. Was it that way or this way? I don't think I... I didn't go through that arch thing, did I? I don't think so. I think it's this way. Doggo. Dead doggo. Alright, since it's cold, well, I think I'll just try to go retrieve the stuff from the cave. I have a good landmark, that? Yeah, as soon as it's foggy, what am I supposed to do? Okay, so I mapped from that rock right there. Maybe I can map from right up here, and then warm up, grab the stuff, go back down, map from the other part of this little path before dropping down any farther. That's that lake right there, so that cabin's pretty close with the moose. I would probably want to go there next, if there's a moose there. Get a bunch of food. I think there's a... There might be an ice fishing hut there? Uh, I don't remember. one piece of meat. Take all this. Take uh, the bow.
I don't really need a rock pile when I've got trailers with containers and stuff, so I'm going to leave the stones. I don't even need ten stones too many. Uh, that can stay. Take the birch. Alright, so we'll take this stuff down there. I'm not warm yet, though, and I want to do another mapping thing. Pretty good. Sort of good. Good enough. Scared? Scared doggy? Not so brave without your friends, are you? So I brought back one piece of food. I guess we have to cook food tomorrow. Okay, what else did we bring? Bunch of charcoal and stuff. I guess we'll just put stuff in here. Good, 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 good. Gallon of water. Too much water. Drop the water. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll try to use this bed, I guess, so I'm not using up my bed roll. Now we can eat the food, the last of my food. Where'd it go? I guess uh, we need to try to saw off as much meat as we can so we can cook it tomorrow. There's no fire barrel that I found. I can. I was thinking about mapping right outside of here, but I can do that almost any time, as long as it's not an active blizzard. Yeah, it's cold, but let's, let's try to go saw up some doggy. Saw some doggy. I guess technically I'm chopping or slicing. I'm slicing. I think this is the one I started. Mm-hmm. Check in the fire barrel situation. No fire barrel. Alright, can we do one more? I killed three, I think. It's actually a little bit warmer. that much, though. That's good. It'll do for now. Yep, run away. Darkness. Bed should be there. It is right there. Good. Good start. Beachhead established. Let the mapping begin. Three hundred sixty two days, nineteen hours, twenty three minutes. All 
All right. I woke up fully rested. Isn't that nice? Day 364. We are officially, actually, in Blackrock. Not a connecting zone. Not a neighboring zone. We're not two zones over. Looking for backpacks and crampons. We're actually in it. Uh, we're going to... I think we'll do one more stream of the Long Dark. Exploring Blackrock next time. On Sunday. In two days... Same bad time, same bad channel. We're almost nine hours in, so we're going to end it here. Good stopping place. We did uh, one one stream in the transition zones, the other stream in in not Blackrock, and then a third stream in Blackrock. <laughs> so, that's it. See you later. Thanks for coming by the stream. Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun. I'll see you next time. Have a good night.